Hello, everyone, and welcome to tonight's episode of Critical Role, where a bunch of us nerdy ass voice actors sit around and play Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> like that. Uh, before we get started, <laughs> we have a few announcements to get into. Uh, I guess, well, first and foremost, I want to say thank you uh, for our all of our uh, community members that came out for the art show this weekend. It went amazingly. It was great to meet. Uh, a bunch of the artists had the opportunity to. Looking forward to meeting all those that we didn't have the opportunity this time for hopefully future events. It went really well. We hope to do more community-centric things like this in the future. So uh, I'm, I'm just very happy how it all turned out. And the live show went really well. Um, and thank you all for coming to that. Uh, who could? Uh, the, um, let's see, that's coming out in February. Mm -hmm. Yes. So the VOD for Search Squad uh, is coming out in February. We'll have details soon at critworld.com, so keep your eye peeled for that. Um, let's your see. eye peeled. Let's go ahead and bring Don't it to our fantastic sponsorship yes. for the evening. Yes. Uh, this week we have our returning friends and family on the internet, D&D &D Beyond. <laughs> Sam, if you don't mind. Guys, the campaign trail is heating up. Oh, As geez. you know, I declared my oh, candidacy for the president uh, of D&D oh, &D Beyond. Mm -hmm. I want to thank my constituents uh, for their inventive slogans and mottos that they sent in. I wanted to read a few that you'll be seeing on the hashtag Sam for President campaign trail. Uh, one of them, uh, these are just some of my favorites. Yes, we can trip. Pretty good by oh, Jay oh, Viviano. Oh, 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 oh. Not my president by Alyssa Toombs. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's good. That's really good. Uh, Crit's about to get real from yeah. Jetpack Paul. I did not have sexual relations with that manticore. Oh, good. Uh, that's our squeef. Uh -huh. uh, putting the D in D and D Beyond <laughs> by Jarson Kames and Stay Turned by Brian Foster. Oh, so those are some good ones. That one's taken. Yeah. Yes. Um, now I may not know exactly what the president of D and D Beyond does, but I know it's an important job, and therefore I feel like I deserve it. But I can't win this race alone. <laughs> Uh, so I'm gonna need a campaign, I'm sorry, a Sampaign manager. Oh, wow. Jesus. Oh. So I've enlisted our own Danny Carr to be my oh, Sampaign manager. Oh. Yes. <laughs> ah. Ah, hi, Danny. Thanks for coming tonight. Hi. You know, I really have more important things to do right I'm now. I'm sure you do, <laughs> but thank you for volunteering. You said you were paying me. I am in the form of tape for your reel. Uh -huh. So thank you. Um, anyway, Danny, <laughs> Danny is here tonight to keep me on track as my campaign manager as I launch into my first ever Sampaign rally speech. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> oh boy! Ah. Friends, critters, countrymen, D and D Beyond is a horrifying wasteland of shame, and only I can pull it from the foul, swampy depths of. I mean. D&D Beyond is a wonderful app <laughs> and a sponsor of this program, where you can build your favorite characters and track their adventures and treasures. Which is why I, Sam Regal, will unceremoniously decimate its current president, leaving their bodies in... I mean, I'm eager to share my plans to improve this already excellent app. Yep. <clears throat> Here is what the Sam for President Sampaign stands for. Under my regalship, Every character will come preloaded with one inspiration point. Your default app background will be a picture of me. <laughs> All characters get 69 hit points. Oh, yeah. Nope, okay. You'll have a new option, a short rest, a long rest, or a sex nap. Oh. <laughs> Well, that's it for this rally, folks. <laughs> next time, next time we'll unveil my opponent, who will be to be determined. In fact, I would like you guys to tweet at me at D and D Beyond, and why not at her at Danny Carr? I it's don't know. It's Danny Carr. It's Danny Carr <laughs> with, the, with the hashtag uh, Sam for President, and tell me which one of these guys I or gals I should run against. Um, so uh, yes, because it's going to be a fun, exciting battle for the White House or Gray House or whatever color the building is where <laughs> D and D Beyond is. Anyway, thank you and God bless Sam America. Oh. <laughs> oh. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Danny. Thank you, Thank Danny. You, Danny. <laughs> Thank you, Danny. <laughs> <laughs>
run away. Run, run while I you love can. that we just weekend updated your yeah, own sponsorship <laughs> message. That's <laughs> amazing. <laughs> Thank you, Sam. Wow. Thank you, Danny, and thank you, D&D Beyond, for oh, your oh, unending oh, patience yeah. with this weekly, uh, this. A <laughs> <laughs> um, couple more announcements. The second season of Between the Sheets begins oh. next week, this Yay. coming Monday, January 28th at 7 p.m. Pacific. The video will be available on the Critical Role YouTube channel on Wednesday, January 30th. Yep. The very first guest is friend of the show, uh, musician, rapper, and all around awesome nerd, Logic. Yeah. Um, yeah. And author. And author, and all sorts of other yeah. awesome stuff. He's a very prolific uh, young man, and I can say that because I'm older than him. Yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, super excited. It's going to be great. And happy to kick it off with such an awesome guest. Um, it's so good. It's going to be good. Yeah. It's a good episode. <sighs> And enjoying nice. the crossover of, of a whole bunch of Critical Role fans going, who's Logic? And then a whole bunch of Logic fans going, what's Critical, critical Role? And I was like, this is, this is going to be like, well like a train wreck of happiness. Well I'm so excited. I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I want to give a very, very special thanks to our friends at Wormwood, uh, who have continuously supported Critical Role and the community for a very, very long time. And they actually created for the live show and for the show here this badass DM screen oh, that I get to unveil. Oh, the dragon! Oh, the dragon. Oh, the dragon. Put, dragon. Put it back! <laughs> God! It's CTSD. Yeah, no. that's okay. You get that. Beautiful. Yeah, they did a really good job with it. Uh, but special thanks, especially to uh, Jason McDonald, who's a master craftsman at Wormwood, who made both this DM screen and the table wow. that we play on to life. Uh, Jason, you did an amazing job. I had a chance of meeting him at the live show, but uh, you're awesome. Uh, and another special thanks to Critter uh, Chris Gladys for our How Do You Want to Do This Calligraphy design, which is also used on here. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> too much. <laughs> uh, Chris, thank you. You did an amazing job. Uh, <laughs> and I th apparently, I think that's all I have for announcements right now, guys. So, what have you done? I don't know. I just found some weird writing on. on... Didn't this? I feel like you copied that. Did I copy this from something? What is this? What is that? Let me see that. I don't know. Didn't, didn't he have to copy That's some sort those. of? Yes. Yeah, that was remember. when we were talking about the four walls and the yeah. temple, right? Oh, okay, okay. okay. Yeah. I like the idea that you just like sleep rune I sometimes. Know, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we knew this day would come. Trap from the first board. Yeah, yeah, thank you, Satan. Officially played too much DMD. <laughs> um, not possible. Anyway. Not possible. I think with that, we can go ahead and bring ourselves into tonight's oh. episode of Already? Critical Role. Welcome back, everybody. <laughs> so, last we left off, the Mighty Nine had been returning from Nicodranas. They uh, they had made their way northward from the Menagerie Coast, left their ship in the care of their favorite turtle to uh, earn money at sea while you were away. I like turtles. <laughs> you 
made your way northward, <laughs> past the Wuyun Gorge, back into the Grandalian Empire. Passed through Trostenwald and Allfield and met up with uh, Bryce for a bit to catch up and then made your way towards Felderwin. Upon arriving, you discovered the city uh, was still visibly scarred from the recent assault that it had seemed to suffer at the hands of the Kryn dynasty from Jorhas. Upon perusing the streets, you came to discover that the location that Nott was leading you towards was in ashes, as apothecary. Um, upon inspecting the vicinity, you did not find a body, but you did find a basement where you found ruined furniture, a few traps, a chest, and a mysterious chair that has <laughs> grabbed the nation's imagination. I still feel like I haven't really had a talk about that chair. <laughs> Y'all gonna die. <laughs> you thought the gazebo was bad. Anyway, so. Did we put the chair in the bag of points? <laughs> However, you also found that apparently the person who previously lived there was nowhere to be found, and the son of that individual was being held at a nearby home of another person who lives here in Felderwin. You went there with Nott, Nott took the form of a halfling and proceeded to speak to this child as her son. And after a bit of interesting conversation and curiosity, said goodbye, and you turned to find these two powerful magic users that Caleb had, had identified as members of the Cerberus Assembly were walking their way towards the ashen ruins of the Apothecary, deep in conversation. And that is where we left off. So, Mighty Nine, what would you like to do? Could you just, before we leap in, could you give a quick physical description again of the two Arch Mages? Yes, yes, I can do that. So we have uh, Lady Vesterogna. Yeah, Lady Bunch of Letters. Yes. Uh, is an elven woman in fine uh, flowing clothes of green and black, like deep green with uh, black designs across them and around the edges of the, uh, the kind of billowing sleeves. Uh, jewelry around the fingers, you can see a number of rings, and what looks to be a series of necklaces that each contain what looks to be some sort of a, a circular gem that dangles from them, like a little collection of colors. Um, she has short, kind of medium brown hair, and appears to be of, you know, not a young elven age necessarily, but not as old as her current compatriot, which is a Martinet Ludinus Daleth, who's the Archmage of Domestic Protections. He has long white hair. Also elven. Also yes. elven. They're both elven. Deep blue robes. Yep. Keeping traps on that. Um, and that's that's really the extent of what you can see at this distance. You know, you've, you are currently a few houses down, mm -hmm. kind of standing outside of uh, old Edith. old Edith's house, and you just kind of in the moment of of the tension of the conversation that you had just had and the intensity of Knott's disposition. You can glancing and see them kind of walking up and stopping right at the cusp, kind of talking to each other. At the apothecary, not where we are. Correct, the Two apothecary. Two separate locations. Yes. Um, uh, uh, we, we need to go now, right now. Oh. Yes, yes, we should, we should get off the streets right away. Um, these things we have, we have to get them out of here. I know, I know, I know a place we can go. Uh, we can go um, just to a, near the river. There's a river near here. Lead the way. Yeah, no, please. Okay. How far is the river? Uh, from where you're standing here, not terribly far. Maybe a ten-minute walk. Is okay. it the opposite direction of the hun, huh? Uh, you could loop around a bit. Okay. You can probably go southward. You're not that far um, from the uh, Samir River, mm -hmm. so you can just kind of scoot, uh, kind of a southwestern direction. And an arc probably may get 15 minutes to, av to avoid them entirely. We should take the cart too, huh? Yes. Yeah, yes. let's go. So I will lead them to a spot on the riverbank that I know. All right. 
So moving past uh, the handful of, of people in the city that are kind of noticing this strange band of adventurers that have wandered through, um, you make your way past the outskirts, and there you can see the river itself um, cruising right along. It's a, it would be a beautiful landscape if there wasn't this uh, intensity of emotion and the kind of distant haze of uh, kind of long grade smoke that still kind of hangs over the vicinity of the partially burned farmlands. But nevertheless, not leads you over towards one of the kind of shaded banks under a few trees. And you come to a stop. Are we being followed? Make a perception check. First one of the night, you fucking pressure. First one of the night, you got this. Count, 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 count. Oh, that's good, that's good. That's good. <laughs> 20, 21. 21. Glancing about, you do not see anybody keeping watch. What you do notice, however, is that a lot of the patrolling uh, righteous brand, like the, the small bands that have been kind of keeping tabs, are all gathering towards the, like kind of the southern edge where the farm fields actually of the Felderwin tillage hit the town of Felderwin. Whereas they were kind of scattered, they're all kind of amassing in one space. And we heard someone describe the, um, the, the operatives from Jorhas coming up out of the ground over by the farmlands, correct? Correct. Yeah. This is, that's as much as you've heard. Yeah. So hey, what the fuck? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, but also, we just um, s stole uh, some very important things, and we saw what is probably the owners going into the building. Is there anything we need to do in this town now to help you do what you need to do here, or can we leave? No, we can't leave. No, we can't leave. I mean, you can leave, but I need to stay. Is this person you're looking for here? Do you know? Do you have any ideas? I don't know, but I know that... I don't know. I don't know where he is, but I... I know that we'll find clues here, or, or, or we may find clues here. I need to look. I... I need to look, and I need to start right away, and... I suppose you all can go if you want, but... I will stay and help you. Yeah, we'll, we'll stay. Caleb, what? are you worried about another attack? What are you so nervous about? We are the target. We were being stared at as we came through here. I think we need somewhere safe to talk. I think that there's a lot of things we need to uh, cement up. This is Before about as forward. quiet a spot as I know in town. I don't want to go to a pub or anything. No, no, no obviously not. We need, we need privacy. Yes. I mean, uh, uh, are they going to? I mean, you're just here to check on your son, so that's a good cover, I guess. Is it your son, or are you yeah, even no. a goblin? Okay, or? okay, all right. So you probably have some questions for me, and that's all right. One or two. Like yeah, a thousand. Maybe. Okay. Yeah. Maybe more. I mean, if it's your son, that's really sad, not. No, no, I know, I know. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for surprising you all back there, and I'm sorry that I didn't well. tell you more before. Are you okay? I don't know, but I... You know, I'm, I'm, I'll, I feel like, I don't think any of us need to pretend that we all don't have some secrets, and we've all been keeping some secrets from each other, and sometimes I feel like even, maybe the thing that brought us together is that we're sort of bonded by Dishonesty? A Not me. Bit? No secrets. Open book. I'm pretty. I'm pretty open too. I hear you. Well, for <clears throat> some of us, anyway. For me, anyway. I've been holding on to some secrets. Just, you know, I feel like it's almost like putting up an armor or something to protect to protect you from the past or from regrets or something, and but I feel like 
for some of us, it could also be like a, like a chain, sort of weighing us down and keeping us from moving forward. And maybe it's time now to sort of remove that chain and, and, and be open and honest so that we can move ahead. And so, yes, I'll, I'll, t I'll tell you what you want to know. What, what do you want to know? Just... Um, is, Are you a goblin? Is that your son for real? Okay. Well, hi. I'm, my name's not the Brave, and I am a little goblin girl. But, once upon a time, I was Veth, a young halfling woman, and before that, a, a halfling child who grew up um, being told being told that she was not pretty and not not brave and not coordinated and not smart and just not. And that's this, that's you, that's how you looked? This is how you looked? Yeah. But you're so pretty. I was. <coughs> um, and then, uh, you know, time went by, and I got a little bit older, and I was made fun of quite a bit. I, I had this, um, people thought I was strange because I collected things. I had lots of collections. They were really outstanding. I collected wax seals and pieces of paper, colored paper, and, um, and some buttons and fabric. Wax seals? All, all kinds, yeah. Do you still have those? I don't, I'm afraid not. It's kind of cool, actually. Well, they didn't think so. I had brothers and people in town who would just ridicule, ridicule me and... That was here? Yes, I lived here. And then they were, one day I um, was playing a game with some some other boys, and they, they dared one of their friends to give me a kiss. Spin the bottle. And I, the boy was very nice, and he actually seemed to like it. And he and I became friendly, and um, eventually we did what people do and got married. Oh, that's not, I went somewhere else. Yeah, married, yeah. And uh, he didn't mind my strangeness, and I helped him get his apothecary up and running. He was a brilliant chemist and could make acids and, and potions and oils and uh, bleaches for fabrics and dyes and all sorts of things, and I helped him, and he took care of me, and. Eventually, we, we had a baby named Luke, and he was a bright boy, very smart. He learned to talk very early and walk very early. Such a smart boy. And, and that's who you saw back there, is my son. So, was he right? Did he die? I think so. I think so. Uh, we had a rough winter in Felderwind. Uh, there was not a lot of crops, and uh, I think some of the animals had, had, had died that winter. And this river I've brought you to, this, this sort of, it's a beautiful place. I used to come here with Yeza, and. It's also an important place because this is the, the goblins would come from over there. 
and they would come and raid us from the other side of the river. And I think after that winter, they got particularly hungry and more dangerous and more daring. And they, they came into town and, and raided more and more until one day they, well, they took us, they took me and my husband and my yeah. child and they held us in one of their camps. And I don't know, it was days or weeks, I'm not sure, but Luke was not doing well. He was, he was starting to starve. And I knew that we needed to, to get out of there somehow. Yeza is a very bright man, but he's not a fighter. So I had to do what I had to do. We ran, we ran in the dead of night and they weren't fast. I, I've been chased a lot in my life by boys making fun of me and I'm pretty fast. So I told them to run, run to the river and I, I broke off and I ran a different way and the goblins followed me. And when they found me, they surrounded me and I, I fought. I, I had a vial of acid that Yeza had handed me and I threw it in the face of the one trying to catch us. They didn't like that. They, they took me back to their camp and I think he died from his wounds. And he was a, something like their leader. And he had a wife. And she brought me to an, another woman in a hood, a magic woman. I, I don't know who she was. I never saw her eyes or anything. But this goblin told the woman, make her suffer. And they did. They brought me to this river. And they drowned me in it. I can still feel the water in my lungs and my ears and my, my nose. And then nothing. until I woke up and saw <coughs> the hands, those hands, the, the skin. And I looked in a puddle and I, I could see what they made me. They made me, they made me everything that I thought I was. Not pretty. Not good. Just not. I'll be honest, I've started forgetting what it's like to be, to be a halfling, to be me. I, I don't remember everything anymore. I feel like every day I'm it's just more, I'm more and more goblin. I don't like it at all. I don't like myself at all. And I'm sorry I didn't tell you. I'm sorry I lied. And, and I'm sorry, Caleb, that I didn't tell you. I should have told you. You would have understood. And maybe you could have helped me. I don't know. I feel like you're almost there, though. Almost, almost strong enough to help. I just didn't want to distract you from your path.
anyway. That's, that's how I got to you. And that's why I can't be in that town and, and he can't see me like this. My, my son can't see me like this. He, no one there can. Does, uh, does your husband know? Or does he not know? I've sent him things. So he knows you're alive. Well, I only recently started signing the letters. I don't know if he believes it or not. I don't know what he would think of me. The people in that town, they're told to, to kill a goblin on sight or, or run and get help. Children are told rhymes. It's, uh, if he saw me in, like this, there's, I don't even know if he would believe it's me. It, I, no, no, you, I mean, not. You ran and got help, here we are. It's the right thing to do. We're here to help. How long has it been? Since I've been like this? Mm. Yeah. Ah. Uh, well, they turned to me. And then they kept me around. They used me like a, like a slave, really. I would clean out the, their messes and clean up after the, the meals and I would help their, their one that tortured, I would help him for months, maybe six months. And then I ran, and, and that's when I found you shortly after. So maybe a, a, a year? No, more. More than a year, year and a half? I don't know. I don't know. Not exactly, it's all sort of a, a blur. I feel like we can get this fixed. We're here now. We can do something. We just have to take some time, think carefully and slowly. I don't think we have time. He's gone. They could be killing him now, these people that have him. Do we know, do we know who we think that is? Is it the people you know? Are we, is there anyone else? Is there, is there anyone coming? Do we hear anything? Make a perception check. Your emotions are kind of transfixed, and even though you look around you, your attention is still so focused on not that nothing catches your eye. We can we can do something about this, but we're going to have to. You're going to have to trust us, and you're going to have to. Be careful, because if we move too quickly, we're just gonna go run in the wrong direction. And alone. <clears throat> and you need help. I, I will try to restrain myself, but honestly, I, I don't know, I don't know for how long, I mean. Would it help if we cleared your head? What do you mean? Well, if we need to, if you need a minute to, to be here, we can maybe sift some of the contents of that, of that uh, flask out of you for a little while, just for a minute. You can get back to it when you need it, but for now, maybe uh, impulse isn't the, may not be your friend right now. Okay. If you think so, Mr. Clay. I'm gonna try and do that. We had a brief conversation about that last week. So you're gonna be uh, casting Lester Restoration? Yeah. Okay. Try to undrunk, not. Technically, alcohol is a toxin. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. I have to know what it is, and I have to be going for it. So. Yeah. So I'll allow it. I am so sorry. <clears throat> you feel this kind of warm glow emanate from Caduceus's hands, and in that moment, the kind of fuzzy numbness that you are accustomed to sitting in, especially in places of great fear or emotion, 
fades and everything's back to being crystal clear. Sometimes the truth takes a little while to this, get there. This feels much worse. I know. It feels terrible. Actually, this yeah. is terrible. <clears throat> this is how you all are all the time. This is not fun. Majority. Yeah. Ah. Now that I know this you place is. Candy? Yes, lots. This place is quiet, but um, you actually know if there's a waterfall upstream a little bit or a brook, Somewhere something with. <laughs> Something with some noise it might drown out anyone who's listening. Maybe somewhere we can sleep too. Further off the beaten path, we walk upstream. Maybe. Is there know? such a place? Uh, there's not much in the way of a waterfall, unfortunately. They're in the center of the valley, so what 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 hills there are are just hills. Um, the river here continues, you know, cutting through the valley, but you're probably a good uh, off the top of my head, forty or so miles from. Any elevation to cause a major waterfall. Any babbling brooks. We know I mean, you're are. next to the river, and it's whatever what little noise it's making. It's babbling. it's. We know that there are. We know that there are tunnels. <laughs> yeah, but the farmlands. Which is, I think, where all That's those where uh, going, yeah? soldiers were going. Well, maybe we should find somewhere in town to hold up and. You we'll do just know. Keep you out of sight. I mean, there was the one in that burned down. Um, but there is one in you know called the Goldfield Tavern and Lodge. That's one of the more traveled inns. Okay. So a lot of you know of, of people that come in and out of Felderwind. That's one of the more popular destinations. Well, I suppose. What's your husband's name? Yes. Yes, Renato. I think perhaps if we're gonna, if we should come together with a. A game plan. I think it, it would be respectable if people thought that someone was looking for Yeza in his interests. People will be less suspicious if we're asking questions about someone who disappeared if we were perhaps hired by a trust fund of your son or, or otherwise, and this is just something that is owed to him. It's just business. We don't have to let them know it's personal. It's actually very clever. Yeah. That's fine, but. And I'm sorry, Caleb. I'm sorry for what I said before, but I feel like part of what we'll need to do to find him is to know what he was doing before he was taken. And that involves you. Yeah, you definitely puked all over that apothecary, so it's clear that something's not right. I don't want to force you to do anything you don't want to, but I need you now. I need you to tell me what you know, what these people might be doing or, or might have taken him to or done with him. I mean, it does seem like they were using him. And what is Dunamis? And how do you know them? That's a lot. You can take your time <laughs> as you're ready. Are, are we going? We sh do you want to get somewhere safer first? Further away? All right. Why don't we keep moving upstream? What's the direction away from the conflict? I mean, there's a northeast and southwest. Um, head north, northeast would kind of be more in the direction of the fields uh -huh. in, in clearer view. Southwest uh, would be just further away from Civilization. I'll also say yeah. that if we can, we can start the wagon up, and I can drive and keep an eye out. And if you're all inside the wagon, no one's going to see any of you. Sure. Let's head south. Yeah. Just find a patch of woods to hide in. Are you okay woods. leaving your There's son? Little clusters of trees here and there. It may be in the, the end safer you. staying in town. People staying in the woods seem like they're trying to avoid something, and there's a lot of soldiers. If you're on business, you go to town, even if the town's a little rough. So let's just we'll keep we'll keep going around, and then when it's time to go, I think maybe we go into town and get a room, and maybe make a little bubble in the room if we have to. I don't, I don't want to talk in town. So we'll we'll take we're gonna take a long we're gonna take a scenic route. I'll take a long time, and if I see people, I'm not gonna drive towards them. Before we go, are you sure your son is safe with no, this one? No, I'm not sure at all. I, what did you tell her last? Are they staying? Are they going? They're staying. I gave them some money. She seemed 
Edith seemed to think that they were okay for the time being and that there's not going to be any more imminent attacks. Do but other I, people in town know that old Edith cares for your son, that they're connected in some way? No idea. Does old Edith, Edith know your current form? No one does. She just thinks you're not dead. Well, I'm not. We're not. not. I think that your child made of that. I don't know, but I know that I, I needed, I needed to see him. I forgot what he looked like. And he forgot what I looked like. And I feel like that's, that's impossible. That's, that's unsustainable. We need to know the ones we love, and I don't know what that was. I don't know how he felt, but for me, it's a step. As painful as it was, it will be a, a step towards something. Not you. You drowned. You drowned, and you just spent three months underwater. That's incredible. Uh, I just, I don't know if you realize that, but. Yeah, it's, it was not, it was great. It was, it was, it sucked. Yeah. It was very brave. It was terrible. Yeah. It was very brave. You guys have rubbed off on me, I guess. I don't want to tell you what to do, but, um, I feel like our previous experience would lean towards getting your son and her out of here, especially if the people that have taken your husband are still here, and if they're searching for answers or asking people questions, that could lead to her and him. They could go stay with my mama. They could stay at the Lava Chateau for the time being. Anywhere west, really. Yeah, now's the time to move them. Right. How? How? I mean, how can I, how would I convince? Maybe it's not you. Maybe one of us go. Go to tell them? Mm-hmm. I mean. Not a bad idea. How do they get there? Kind it's a dangerous loops. journey even for us. You saw the borders? It kind of loops into Caduceus's social worker plan, actually. Hmm. I don't know if necessarily crossing the border is the way to go, but at least going further inland. And if they do decide to cross, I think they're less concerned with people going out more than coming in. Yeah. Do we know any place safe closer? Is all field safe? I mean, safe as anything. Rice is there. <clears throat> That's not a bad idea. Send That's a letter. Ask Bryce if they can take care of this. Do you think Bryce would be down for more responsibility and obligations? I imagine if we pack a few gold in, yeah. and it's not much just to find some room and board for a couple people. That's true. And if it does continue to drift that way, Bryce will be sure to get them out quick. Or send word. Mm -hmm. Suppose Hallfield is near the border and the gates. Shorter journey out. I could send a message. See if Bryce would be okay with that. What you did. Okay. Yes. Yes. Please do. Okay. There's a lot to figure here. This will be one less thing to worry about. All right. And then we try to find Yeza. Or Absolutely. Yes. 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 I'm gonna not be able to do this. <laughs> In 25 words? It's so hard. Cast the twice. This is going to Bryce. Oh, no. This is going to Bryce. <laughs> this is going to Bryce. Okay, 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 okay. I believe in you, Jester. You can do this. Woman <laughs> and child incoming. Take care of them. Oh, that's a good, like, don't talk in full sentences. Why didn't I think of that? I, I don't know. Stop. 
Do I say stop? Stop. But don't waste it on stop. Well, I mean, that's what you do if I you're like doing do. the but, telegram. Yeah, but then I could just <laughs> vocally no, stop because Bryce will hear me. <laughs> stop. Right. All right. Stop. Okay. Okay. I'm going to cast sending. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Oh boy. <laughs> It's Jester. Two people incoming. A woman and child. Take care of them, please. We're sending money with them. <laughs> you have two more words. This oh, is Lord. important. <laughs> oh, <good. laughs> Cut off the is. I thought I had five. Maybe you, did, maybe you have two you more, you have two more. Oh, okay. Okay, go. Oh, no. Signed. Oh. Please out. <laughs> <laughs> Is one word? As the sporadic phrases make their way through the arcane weaves of the various magical ley lines that invisibly traverse the exterior of Exandria, they make their way towards Bryce's ears somewhere in Allfield, and they respond a moment later. Um. All right, uh, I'll do my best. Please don't send too many more. <laughs> that was it. Okay, I think, I think they're going to help. Okay. Okay. That's something. That's something. Right. Yeah. Like shaking their head, trying to get better reception. <laughs> <laughs> You're cutting out, and I don't like it. <laughs> okay. Oh, sorry about that. There's no way. So, shall we ride around a bit? I'm going yes, to. Yes, because I want to hear what uh, came. I also kind of want to get a sense of things, so I'm gonna. We're gonna take a lazy meander around the the the, the area. I want to kind of get a sense of where things are, kind of get a map in my head, and I'm gonna be paying very close like attention. Like through the city? No, around like on the around outskirts. It. Okay. And I want. It'll to, it'll take you a while. To, I'm gonna keep to... going like around until they. Uh, okay. All right, we'll make perception check for me, Caduceus, as you guys are passing around the southern edge, heading towards the western side of Felderwin. Okay. <laughs> eh, that's okay, it's still all right. Uh, eight, no wait, no, no, I'm so sorry, uh, that's wrong, 13. 13, okay. Keeping an eye out, I mean, the main thing you notice, uh, it seems like most majority of the Righteous Brand uh, have Gathered and are heading northeast. They are leaving Felderwin. Leaving. Correct. All right. Oh. Hey, does it look like they've discovered the tunnels or no? You're, you don't know. You're too far know. away. Too far away. You've, you okay. haven't. You haven't really asked any specific questions to the local that'll, crowns guard. That'll be for civilization. That's cool. Um, but best you can see here. I mean, I mean, the flames have been long out. What, what brief cinders and wisps of smoke that have been slowly. You know, burning themselves out over the past couple weeks or so, or on the very, very tail end, it looks like Felderwin has fallen to at least a semblance of temporary neutrality. Um, the people are going about their lives. The tillage, the damage that has been done, has been done, and now it's just trying to pick up and move on. So. Uh... You're in the wagon. In the wagon. You're, you're, now, you're now like on the western side of the village, where you can see the the, the northward tillage I'm on the around. Lookout, and I will let anybody know if anyone's within like a sixty yards. Like, are we're, you are you listening to where you can contribute? I think I'm listening, but I'm not doing a very good job of it okay. because you're checking out. Because I'm Paris, hey. periscope. Mm. Hey, Jester. Mm. Since we're gonna try and be honest with each other. And turn a new leaf. Um, Are you in love with me? Well, in a way. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't sleep with Dyron. Oh. She wasn't my roommate. She was my teacher. Oh. I don't know why I told you that. I don't either. Yeah. Teachers are cool too. You slept, with your, you slept with your teacher? No, 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 I didn't sleep with her at all. I totally made that up. So you just cared about your teacher? Yeah. Good for you. 
Thanks. <laughs> I know there's more pressing matters, but what did she teach you? How to kick ass and take names, right. bitch. Oh, Ooh. fuck. Cool. Snaps. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I guess it's easier to pretend like you don't care. Well, I figured you cared since you were checking up on her. Yeah. No. I'm a little transparent sometimes. <laughs> but I totally thought she was your roommate. You were really good about that. Thank you. You're welcome. Nice. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong, I totally tapped that, but like. All right, um, can we maybe circle back Sorry. to the... We can tell you're really, you know, scared. And that's okay to be scared. We just don't know why. Yeah, maybe if you share with us your apprehensions, it'll ease it a bit. Got this man. Your name is Veth. It was. <laughs> My name was Bren. Aldrich Elmandrud. And, um, that's why you looked at me that day. Did you die too? Twinsies? I have been using you all. How? Um, I, I, uh, I am from Rex Centrum. I attended the Soltris Academy. And um, I, I, I was plucked by one of the Cerberus Assembly with a few others and um, was being uh, trained to do the kinds of things that I fear may have been done to. Yes. Yeah. And uh, a lot of big plans for me that didn't pan out, and uh, I went a little crazy. <laughs> and I uh, ran away. I ran away. I've, I've been on the run for a long time, and uh, I was tired of starving. And I met, I met you, and uh, was a little less hungry for a while. And uh, I've just been afraid for a long time. And 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 two of the people in that town over there are on the Cerberus assembly. Do you know them? I know who they are. Would they know who you are? I don't think so. But I have... I have walked past their portrait at school many times. Yeah. Well, they're high up then, huh? One of them is the head of the Cerberus Assembly. Holy shit! The head of the whole thing? Is that Mr. Fancy Pants. Yeah. 
Wait, isn't that where you want to go, Fort? I, I, I mean, I did. That's the center of magical teaching in the Empire, but as I understood it. It's really bad or something? Uh, uh, there's good teachers. Uh, uh, it's, it's everything that they describe it to be. To be but uh, after going there for several months, uh, one of the assembly, uh, who also would teach on occasion, started uh, in interviewing me, calling me in and asking me a lot of questions. And uh, he, he sort of put me in advanced class. Me and a few others. Uh, I, I, I don't, I, I don't want you all to be seen with me because if you are seen with me by one of them, they, they will, they will use you to get to me. Well, so I mean, I don't want them to see me either because they'll kill me and everyone I'm with. So anyone in town. So I think we'll be hiding for some time. We, you, you, you met the man who trained me. His name is Trent Ikathon. That's why you always make that face. I'm sorry, Caleb. I'm not a very good person. Well. I don't think our actions define who we are all the time. Good people do bad things sometimes. Even bad people do good things. I think you're a good person. Yeah, and for the record, not. I don't think <laughs> it's us that's been rubbing off on you. I think it's you that's been rubbing off on us. Also, I don't think a very bad person would care about us. I don't think a very bad person would care that he was very bad. <laughs> Do you care about us? You've told us several times how you've been using us. Are you secretly in love with me? your husband, I know the things that they can do. And I start to unwrap one of my arms. Arms? Like the skin? No, I have you been wearing bandages, bandages oh. on my arm. <laughs> and there are little, very faint uh, scars all up the arm. Cuts or burns? There are scars, faint scars from cuts. From cuts. Um, <laughs> the, he uh, used to uh, crystals in, um, he, he, he experimented on us, on the three of us. What would they do, what, what crystals? He, he uh, was trying to strengthen us. The dunamis? No, no, I, no the first time I have ever seen that word was in your libraries. Haphazardly scrolled into a book. No explanation. Uh, no, we, I, we, we, everything was for empire. We were being trained to serve our empire. Above all else. He, he was a little mad himself. That is an, uh, he was mad. I'm curious as to how much was for the Empire and how much the Empire was a veil for his own personal exploits. Uh, he believed that the unwashed masses relied on their base instincts and uh, the highest calling was to rise above the muck and control 
the cattle for the good of all. That sounds like a bad person. Mm. <clears throat> but we are at, we were, are at war. And, it, and many of us felt that way, feel that way. Do you still feel that way? I don't believe in anything now. Is Trent, does he know these two that we saw? Oh, no. yes. Yes, yes. And I, I don't want one more thing on my head to have you guys Probably too late anyway. How powerful are these two? Our normal tricks, would they fall short? The Cerberus Assembly are the uh, most powerful mages in the Empire. Uh, over two centuries ago, uh, a number of mages went to war in the streets of Rexentrum. And uh, it was bloody and awful, and uh, eventually they came to a truce and banded together and uh, proposed to the king at the time that they serve as a uh, advising body alongside the throne. Would they see if we were disguised? That's or right. would they have to look for us? Do you know what I mean? I, I don't know for sure, but there is a reason why I did not use anything like that back there. Okay. So we need to give them a very wide berth. But what? at the same time, we need to figure out where. Why would they, would they, would they have taken my husband? He was not a magic person, he was just a chemist. I, I, I don't know, it has something to do with the, this, the thing. It says it, it says it, yeah. it says it. But I don't know why him so was. His instincts are solid. What, what instincts? Yes, I'm assuming, while oh. I find this alchemist obnoxious in his simplicity, I'm sorry, I don't believe that. I don't either. The Academy's eye for talent proves itself again. Was he gifted in his work? He was very brilliant in his work, but I mean, I, I never saw him do any magic, magic-y things. Did he experiment? It says they want him to produce a number of batches of this, of that liquid, the one that we stole. That is what is written about there. Uh, it talks about, it's, uh, listen, I don't pretend to know what we're talking about, but it does not seem like anything that I ever studied. He was good at what he did, he, he could turn, he could refine anything. You know, uh, They wouldn't kill him then, they need him. They need him to make batches over the next 12 to 16 months. I'm sure he's alive, but if he was good at breaking things down, taking them apart, experimenting on things, this thing that we have falls directly into that. It says they are looking for a way to achieve their ends without the object. I, I don't know what they need. He, I hope he is alive, I truly do. They will make his life very painful, though. Trent Ikathon was looking at Yasha. He was side-eyeing Yasha. What do you mean? Well, she's really hot. I feel like I've heard these words before when we were in that bar. He looks for prodigies, people with innate talent. I don't think it matters. If they took my husband, where would they have taken him? Where, where their headquarters are in Rexen, Rexentrum? Yeah. At a school, at a, at a... The city of Rexentrum. The whole city is their headquarters? They're based there. And the Cerberus Assembly actually has a pretty heavy hold on Rexentrum. And the Empire, they are 
close to as powerful, Argue as arguably uh, more powerful than the king. I wonder if um, maybe we can break him out before he gets there. Maybe he, it only just happened. Can they, do they have magical means of transport? We watched Luna does Daleth appear 200 feet in front of us. So they could already be there. Maybe. I'd be willing to lay money on it. When, when did you, when did you get your new name? I used a lot of names. Caleb is just what I told you. What do you prefer? I don't know. Caleb, let's stick with Caleb for now. Well, shit. It seems like if we are going to chase down my husband, you're going to have to go into danger. Too much danger. Oh. I, 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 I honestly don't know if, if we, we can, if we are up to the, this. Unless they are en route on land, maybe. But, uh, that's all the might of the Empire. Are we going to have to scout out and, and listen in on people's conversations? We should we just can... ask. We should ask to see if anyone saw carriage, anything, leaving town with Yeza. Maybe if we, we go with, you know, our, our insurance company scheme, we can say that we believe there's been fraud and he's not really dead or something. <laughs> and sure. Not. Yes. Sorry, you were gonna say something? No, I just had more questions. I was gonna ask you a question. Go ahead. I don't think you know the answer, though. Your son mentioned that a mean lady with pointy ears keeps coming by. Is that one of these people that you that we saw? Did Lady point, pointy. They had pointy ears. They're elves, both, right? Both elves. Did one, one of them look mean? Well, if he's talking about Vesteragna, do you is that someone who would have? Do you know her to be someone who would would be someone who could harness Vesteragna, chemicals and, and... I'm sorry, I'm sorry, no. Vesteragna is the archmage of antiquities. She is half a recluse. She taught at the school, not me. Or, or, or years above me. Um, what what does that mean, antiquities? Yeah, what, would she be interested in the things that Yezza She's a historian. Having? She knows... She, she, she has uncovered... Um, Mysteries of the past, they would say at school. She's a history buff, and awful as well, probably. She's awful. I mean, even but if could she's. Could she be the one who was visiting? It sounds, my home? Like it sounds like they've been here watching your husband for quite some time, which means checking in on your son. <clears throat> Daleth is domestic protection. Uh, he is the head of the military. Um, so if they are both here, I would imagine that he is here overseeing all of the red brands we saw, and she is probably here trying to figure out what's in that bag. And then, do we have, I, because I, I, just, I just don't know how this all connects, do we know why the Cricks also attacked? Did they sense a disturbance in their juice or whatever that stuff is? The d dunamis? Do you think maybe they're attacking because we have the thingy? But we've had the thingy for a long time. It doesn't explain why they would attack here now. Yeah. They okay. could be calling the Empire <clears throat> for it. They might not be the only one. Okay. It feels like it is a piece of dunamis, 
right? Caleb, roll an intelligence check for me. Thank you. <laughs> be smart, be so smart. 19. That's smart. That's so smart. Uh, on the notes, where it mentions beacons. Mm -hmm. It says there's other beacons. More than one, yeah. Plural. Yeah. Yeah, and this thing that we had was called the beacon. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Right, yeah. okay. Okay, so there's more than one. And we saw an attack on the tower in Zadash. Mm. That was ages ago at this point. And now they're well into the Empire. As we continue to invoke the beacon, that means they have one. With or extreme, had one. Right, with extremely mm. focused energy of different spectrums and sources, divine and arcane, the effects unleashed are ever curious and reach far beyond this laboratory. The dunamis field often slightly, sightlessly encompassed an entire portion of the town, with locals complaining of ill, sluggish sensation akin to being dragged so, down. So, so, they, so had, you, they had one of our oh dodecahedrons here. What if you put the dodecahedron on the tripod thing that we got, right? And then we hit it with some sort of mm -hmm. spell. Mm -hmm. I wonder if it would amplify that spell. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And also ring the dinner bell gesture. I think that's the more dangerous part. We're super close to the front lines, or at least to them. We do that, we might get exactly what we're asking for, but then trouble might also come calling. That's true. The people that we saw fighting having um, the DC fight in the air, uh, full on anime battle. Did we recognize the? Because I know there were two. There were wizards that were fighting the Crick assassins that were coming in. It seemed to be the case. Yes. Do we recognize the clothing and appearance of the Archmaze and Lady? Yeah, it's the same. Is it the? Or uh, is it the same no. people? Not the people that are currently with you now. No, the people it's that are the in the city. The people. For the same that, robes. Uh, really the, there isn't a uniform robe. No, there, there is no. And you would know this too. Like even mages in a union aren't like let's all wear similar uniforms. They all very much see themselves as individuals mm -hmm. in a circle. Um, what about the annexes. Hmm? The annexes, people who it was in in the lore that you shared with me. Oh right, right, right yeah. No, no. Like, like for 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 students and everything, like there'd be uniforms. But as far as like members of the assembly proper. Okay. Um, yeah, there's no consistent uniform between, you know, amongst members of the assembly. They, uh, yeah, they're. I mean, if, as is the nature when when you get to a certain level of arcane capabilities, you know, even working with other mages, there's kind of a general, for the most part, an idea that well, I'm still better than them, but. These papers conjecture that in Gordranas they are able to control fate and time. And clearly, it was stolen from them and brought here. So it could be the source of their presence here. Ooh. Caleb, you were in the library of the Cobalt Soul. Yeah. When you stumbled upon Dunamis for the first time. Yeah, it just it was not. Uh, yeah, it was a note scrawled in, to the side of a book. It said that. The Cerberus Assembly was looking into some sort of new Harkin study, and the word Dunamis was written. That was it. What were you looking for when you found it? What were you trying to find? I, I uh. I, I was um, studying history and. I, I need to become more powerful. I want to do anything. You still haven't answered my previous question of how you were using us and what that means to you. Oh, yeah. Protect, pr look at me. <clears throat> I am a string bean. I'm weak as it comes. I am weak. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Look at her. Look at me. Her guns are bigger than mine. You have no guns. That was an exaggeration that day. You are just fast and quick and talented. Okay, okay, okay. Was that a compliment? I think so. Okay. Kind of like when you smile. You're like prison. 
There's a difference between using someone and relying on someone. That's what I was going to say. Do you think that Ford was using us? Do you think that Knott's been using us? Shut up, Travis. You know, and we're also here volunteering our help. Yeah. It's only using us if you don't like us. Do you like us, though? You do? I, uh... Oh, Jester. <laughs> I, I'm glad you see good in me. Caleb, you were right when you said earlier that it's too late now. That we're involved but I don't think we see it in the same way that you do. It's too late now because whether you like it or not, we all care about you and are invested and, in, you know, like your happiness, I guess. Uh, so. Okay. Don't run. You can say you don't believe in anything, and that's fine. Believe in us just a little bit. Oh, I will consider it heavily. <laughs> you know, I'm sorry for not hearing you yesterday. Honestly, you saying that you don't believe anything kind of put everything into perspective about that conversation. I heard that you were doubting me and us and our friendship. I don't doubt any of you at all. You too. Uh, yeah, I'll have some if someone's making something. <laughs> <laughs> oh you could give two shits. <laughs> You're gonna have to do this twice. <laughs> what well, last time? I want to be off camera. Oh, very off camera. <laughs> 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 So, do we avoid your two professors, or do we try to study them, divide them, interrogate one of them? No. no. They are way too powerful for us. You don't know that. Ford. What? I swallow shit and make it appear in my weapons. I'm fucking down to throw, you know you what I'm saying? You can control water, <laughs> which I can do too. I'm not that powerful. You don't have to minimize my new shit, okay? <laughs> I'm real proud of it. I've had it I'm for a fucking saying, hot second. They've probably been studying for a very long time, and if I'm not wrong, they're elves, and elves live for a very long time. Mm -hmm. And they look kind of old, okay? The so elder, they're probably... Elder gentlemen started the Cerberus Assembly over 250 years ago. Yeah, maybe we don't Do try to separate him. Right, well, what about the one that studies history? You met a bunch of, like, really dangerous historians? Yeah, four. <laughs> yeah, I have. <laughs> what do I know, man? I'm fucking sailored. You're pretty powerful, okay? Me. You're, you're Me. really strong. You're very handsome. Mm -hmm. You got some really cool spells. You can make darkness Listen, appear. Jester, it's really awesome. As much as I love it, it's, it's not about me. Okay. <clears throat> hey, if you all don't stop arguing, I'm gonna turn this cart right around. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> I don't know if you were arguing. I've just always wanted we to say were, that. We were. We were having I'll... a big fight. Man. So what? Do we, <laughs> what do we do? I'm gonna start heading back to town. Regardless, it's getting cold. We need to send your son on his way. All right. Do we need to try and tangible goal that we can do? Do we want to ask if your husband was spotted leaving 
Yes. By some sort of natural means? Sure, yes. Okay. And then we kill the two elves. <laughs> Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. We just, Sorry. maybe we can hop into the room at night or something and just like, you know, stabby stab. Yeah, you seduce one, I'll seduce the other, no problem. I have Not a way <laughs> with Elvish folk. It's like you two have been sorry. reading Tumblr. This is so, sorry, carry on. <laughs> we'll do it one thing at a time. It would make me happy to, to even know that he's alive, to get sort of some, some sort of confirmation that someone saw him alive or, maybe, or something. Maybe, have we maybe. talked about sending a, a message? <gasps> maybe I can send a message to him. I mean, if he's in super magical headquarters, I'm sure there might be a protection against oh, that, but fuck oh, is that, that, is that a bad idea? Maybe. That's a bad idea. Wait, you just, you, wait, did, what? You're trying to find out if someone's alive? Yeah. Oh. Uh, I knew that. Oh. How? How? Yeah. Your, your, your wild mother, uh, the thing you did for me. Caduceus yeah. is a wild mom? Nope, nope, he, he has. He's such a wild mom, is partying all the time. <laughs> This so is many not the only spritzers. one that talks with deities. <laughs> Thank Mom, you, Mom's gone wild? Mom's gone wild. I'm gonna get the funny. What? Hmm? <laughs> what? What is the process by which you would? Oh, I would just, uh, I'd have a little ritual in the morning, meditate on it, see if I can feel anything tugging in some direction, and I couldn't know much, but I could know something. Do you think, Caleb, that they would sense that? Is that a magical force? Is that a divine force? Or? It's a divine force, but I don't think that it would. Do you have to do it in the morning, or can you do it at night? I mean, I'd have to sleep, so. Oh, mm. I understand. It all depends on how he reacts, if Caduceus is able to contact him. I'll, I couldn't know much, but I could maybe, okay. at the very least, give you a yes, no. Maybe. That would make me very happy. So we head to the inn. Okay. We don't talk about anything when we're in the town, right? Except someone has to ask about. We can do that. Cover of night helps. All right, happy. We're coming to town to talk to this famous alchemist, and this is really thrown something into our plans. Uh, I don't know. What do people throw monkeys into plans? What do people throw? A close. It's a wrench. Yeah, yeah. A wrench. Yeah, well, yeah. Monkey this has wrench. wrenched our monkey. A couple of us, tonight not me, but a couple of us could check the town out and, and ask some questions and ask if many people were taken away or not. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Not a bad idea. To the end. I'm already in that way. I'm gonna take everything that we've been looking at and stick it in the bag so that it can't be, you know, scryed on or something. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so you guys make your way towards Seldorin proper. Um, through this conversation, yeah, the majority of the Righteous Brain has moved on, heading northeast towards the front lines. Um, Crown's Guard are still present. Um, and there still is definitely amongst those that are here, um, and not you could say that there are more Crowns Guard present here than there usually are. Probably just to kind of keep an eye now that the military has moved on. You make your way towards the center of the city, leading them towards the Goldenfield Tavern and Lodge. Heading inside, it's fairly empty. You place the card outside for the time being. Um, <laughs> Towards the uh, the bar on the far end, you see the familiar face of uh, Simone Deepwell. Yes. He's the uh, halfling, the barkeep and owner. Uh, dark brown skin, short gray, white hair, very cheerful demeanor, who seems to be excited at the prospect that folks are stopping in with all the chaos that's happened. As he leans over the front of the counter and goes, I'm going to look like just a gnome. Okay, yeah. just a gnome. Yeah. The rest of you keeping it as is? Mm -hmm. uh, hood up, and I'm still dirty as sin. I think I've, I think I've still got a little bit of time on my uh, shaggy, uh, shag, shaggy redhead. Uh, I know I am out would now. You, yeah, m most of the illusions you had in the city have faded at this time since oh, you've been yeah, traversing that, the exterior. So, yeah, okay, I'm mm -hmm. good old natural. Yeah, same. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna button up and go full cobalt colors. You got it. So anyway, uh, Simone leans forward and is like, "Well, hello there. Well, what can I do for you? You're uh, looking for rooms for the night?" 
Oh, how many is that? Look, uh, room each or? Four? Four rooms? Three? Three um, rooms, I can sure do it. How, how many? Three. Three? Three rooms, uh, all right. Um, well, we got plenty of space with the vents being as they have been. Uh, that'll put you back about, let's say, one gold, one silver for the three. That sounds like a very good deal. Thank you so All much. All right, no worries. Yeah, okay. oh, fumbles through some keys guy. and passes them out to you. Feel free to distribute as needed be. Uh, if you need anything, let me know. You said with events being as they have been, um, we noticed there's been a, a ruckus recently. Yeah, you could say that. You could say that. I mean, uh, ruckus <laughs> is a word. Calm the last few days. Any reason why we should be apprehensive? This evening? <laughs> I certainly hope not. I mean, we've pretty much uh, seen kind of the craziest thing Felderwin's ever seen in most of its history since uh, War with the Dominion. So, um, I, I sincerely hope not. I mean, it's one less competitive in, but uh, poor dear. Uh, I just feel bad for everyone who lost their homes and businesses in that affair. It's not good. I understand. Uh, the aftermath. Um, we saw troops leaving on our way in. Yeah, they've been here a few weeks, just uh, walking around, just in case they came back. They catch any of those that were uh, guilty of all this? No, no. They came in without warning and just tore through, burned things, and left. Mm. We were hoping to buy some potions while we were here. Um, do you know if there's a good alchemist shop or anything around? Yeah, see, um, the only real alchemist around here was one of the homesteads that burned down, unfortunately. Oh, no. Uh, but there's a crossroads not too far from here, a big, you know, trading post in the middle of the Marrow Valley, which you've been to before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's probably your best bet. Do you know the, the, the alchemy shop, what was the name of it? Oh, that was uh, the Bernardo Apothecary. The Bernardo Apothecary. Do you know if this Bernardo is around still? Uh, last I heard, Bernardo went missing. Probably asked the Crown's Guard. I don't think they've updated anything, but. Okay. I mean, most of the folks there either got you know killed in the fire, so my right. best, my best ask them. Grounds okay. Guard is probably our best bet if some of the people we're looking for happen to be still missing in the aftermath then. I can imagine. All right. Great. Appreciate you. Mm -hmm. No worries. Well, uh, we have two meals here, one shortly after dusk and right and early in the morning, right after sunup. You got about an hour window. If you miss it, well, there's plenty of, should be plenty of food amongst the city to find, so uh, good luck. Did, did, did we miss the meal already today, then? <laughs> or is it no, you still got a few hours before sundown, so uh, right. just come on by and go ahead and get me and my wife cooking. Uh, this is gonna sound weird, but is there a florist around or uh, anybody who deals with exotic, exotics, uh, exotic herbs, plants, yeah. or otherwise? I mean, herbs and spices, yeah. I mean, there's a... Uh, Felderwin General has a um, manner of various flavorings, if that's what you're looking for. Uh, Something exciting. Uh, yeah, not, Felderwin's not known for its excitement, necessarily, but, uh, you know, keep your eye out. Who knows what you'll find with the right questions? I don't know. I'll do it. <laughs> I've, seen, I've seen some wild folk come in these doors in my days, I'll tell you that much. Uh, you know, not all as colorful as you, though, so can't say my experiences are a good basis of comparison. Catch my drift. <laughs> mm -hmm. Looking forward to a little quiet. Uh, you and me both. Now them soldiers are out of here, at least. Uh, and I missed the coinage, but I uh, ain't gonna miss the riffraff. Thank you. <clears throat> yeah, no worries. I'll see you around dinner time then. All right. Uh, do see a florist? I need something. Uh, it's nice to have something complicated to uh, to uh, use to focus focus myself. Uh, complicated, is that what you said? Mm. Oh. Not quite, but yeah. I it's something. Oh really? <laughs> I was joking. Uh, tea, like tea? 
poppy seeds? Anything, uh, preferably some sort of flower, a living, a living plant. But Chamomile. but but if it's if it's a uh... black eyed Susan's. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> the notion is, it is, I'm looking for something that is a uh, <laughs> testament to the abilities of the wild mother. So anything that is a gift from her to, to us. Something oh. impressive, something beautiful, something tasty. <gasps> honey! I've never tried honey. I don't know if it would work, but that's interesting. I mean, it's essence of flower and bee puke. I, you know, it's usually pretty, it's tend, a to, tend to stick a little <laughs> closer to the source. I also don't really necessarily know how I would perform the ritual with honey. I have oh, a decent okay. amount of molasses, if you like. Uh, I honestly don't know the difference between molasses and honey. Uh, well, one is the bee poop, but molasses comes out of a tree. Yeah. Tree poop and bee poop. <laughs> well, it's, it's more of a vomit. It's fine. Let it ride. Yeah. <clears throat> have some tobacco. Uh, that might be interesting, but I, I think I should probably see if there's anything around, like possibly. Okay, you I got have this it. red feather from Neela. She was also a fur bog. I'm not, I'm not, not sure how that relates, but that is a very beautiful feather. Well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fair. If you'd like to go ahead and make an investigation check to just kind of wander about the town to see if you can manage to muster. I some can support. give him some advice on places Please. to look. Actually, you would, yeah, go ahead and take some advantage on that. <laughs> okay, I, do you want to roll? Okay, no, I'll roll it, because my investigation is amazing. Here we go. Come on! Ah, that's a natural twenty. Hey! So that brings me to a natural to a non. That's a nineteen then. <laughs> oh, <shit>. <laughs> <laughs> um, Felderwin would be one of the few places in the Empire where the Wild Mother would be very popular if she weren't outlawed. Mm -hmm. um, and you get the sense that there might even be kind of an unspoken. Worship to her amongst this this very rural farming community. I, I I need a very I'm like I'm hoping to find an orchid or something something interesting. Uh, so you managed to go to both Felderwin General, um, and with Knott's help, kind of sneak into uh, one of the elaborate uh, specialty herb growing uh, boxes, specifically for the purpose of various medicinal herbs. Um, and we'll say over the period of the next 30 minutes or so, you gather what would be about 25 gold worth of. Um, if you knew what I was oh, doing. Sorry. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, and here goes 25 gold. All right, that's all I needed to do, really. Uh, that was that was my pre-game. Pre okay. Anyone else doing anything? Mm. Well, this is not nighttime yet. We're just mm. not nighttime No, but yet. you're getting, getting you're closer. You're keeping, like, Keeping an eye out for, you know, any cloaked, robed, yeah, elven people. robed folk. Yeah, yeah, we're just trying to, like, avoid them. We okay. do not know of any, like, a general physician, <laughs> like a doctor, like someone. I mean, we have one with us, two, two with us. Local doctor. Local doctor. Mm -hmm. That might know oh. locals. Oh, someone you, who might have repaired one of the soldiers or something like that? Or, or I'm curious if it's said in those papers about them being sick from oh, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, you do the know, town complaining about sluggishness. Hey. Uh, you do know there is a, a human, a female human uh, physician in the town. There's a number of physicians and people, but, but there's one named uh, Demi Larrick who uh, is kind of the altruistic member of the community. You know, uh, doesn't charge, but accepts donations and is often the first to try and help out those of the um, more meager lifestyle in this farming community. Okay. So Demi Lyric, you say? Dr. Demi Lyric, medicine woman. <laughs> <laughs> more or less, sure. I also want to find the crown's guard. All right. Yeah, easy enough to find as as you're kind of glancing because they're they're fairly present and conversing. You see uh, one set of three that are walking past the one who seems to be most energetic in conversation is in the process of regaling the others two with some sort of an tail. Um, scrawny, human-looking fellow, looking like his mid-thirties or so, chin scruff but can't quite grow a full beard, like me. 
apparently. You have a lovely cold beer I'm vacuum. still getting used to it. Come I'll split him. I'll, um, <laughs> I'll split off from the group so that I'm not like drawing tension. Okay. Or um, excuse me. Hey, yeah, can, uh, can I help you? Yeah, I'm, I'm staying at the local inn right now. Um, so I have a friend who he's, um, he's losing a little bit of his hair. And he was hoping, I was hoping for a present. I could get him maybe like a potion that would grow it. Do you know where I could find somebody that could grow hair, like a potion maker or something? Uh, I can't say I'm too familiar with, uh, you know, hair tonics, <laughs> per se. Uh, I don't know what kind of potions can be made. I mean, do you know? Uh, if you're looking for anything too fancy, I'd probably recommend heading out to a dash. Okay, okay. What about, like, alchemy? Is there, like, a local alchemist or something? Uh, not anymore, unfortunately. That, no? That was one of the buildings we lost to the Cricks a few weeks back. Oh, no. Oh. Well, uh, the building is gone. What about the person that, that ran the shop? Oh, hell if I know. And the Cricks just ran in here and started killing people left and right, and... Left in the same hour they arrived. It was like a swift nightmare, just tearing through here. That's insane. I, I've never seen a, a crick. Yes. What do they look like? Oh, let me tell you, you ever have one of them terrible dreams where something comes out of the darkness and tries to grab at you and cut at you? Mm -hmm. It's just burning eyes of evil and dark armor of shadow and nothing. Mm hmm well, imagine a bunch of them popping out of the ground and cutting down your friends. How wow. did, how did, how they pop out of the ground? Hell if I know. A bunch of ground dwelling, weird, dark elf folk. Did you have to fight them? Well, I mean, I fought a number of them myself, you know, trying to protect my buddies here. But uh, not everyone was so lucky. You must be so brave. Oh, just. A, I mean, you look really brave. Well, I bet you fought really. Just doing my job, man. Wow. Well, all right. I guess I'll um, have to go to another town for a potion. I, I, can you point me in the direction of this shop? Well, where were the one that was here? Yeah. Uh, it's right over. You go head down two blocks and to the right, follow that on for about seven, eight or so buildings on the left. You'll, it's kind of hard to miss. Okay. I think it's this, the second one on the left that's burned down. Okay. Hey, maybe the owner ran away or something, right? Here's to hoping. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Indeed. <sighs> Is there anything else you're looking to find out? <laughs> no, I just want to see if they saw him leaving the town. <laughs> That's all. Yeah. You'd like to find somebody who was a little more in the thick of it. Yeah. That soldier was totally hitting on you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A lot of soldiers <laughs> hit on me, it's no big deal. He wasn't even here when the fighting happened. He was lying. <laughs> <laughs> so brave. Sorry. Okay, carry on. <laughs> Anyone else doing anything? I want to I find Demi Lyric. Okay. Uh, you go ahead, and uh, it takes you a little while. You know, I mean, not, not not too long with with Knott's help guiding you in that direction, but just kind of finding the right building because there's the the sign itself that just has Demi Lyric's name on it is uh, itself kind of smoke covered from. It's across the street from one of the buildings that was damaged by the fire. Um, and as you walk over towards the edge, the door is partially ajar. Wait just a minute! I'm sit down, it's gonna hurt a bit longer. Come in! You open the door, come inside. It's a very, very simple establishment. Uh, immediately, the smell hits you of uh, various, it smells like medicinal herbs and very, very strong chemicals. Um, you see what looks to be four or five cots that are set up, two of which have what appear to be recovering uh, town's guard that are bandaged up and currently like laying down, one of them appears to be asleep, the other one is sitting there with a, with a fresh set of bandages put over what looks to be burns. Um, uh, you see Demi turn around. Human woman, maybe late 20s, early 30s or so, um, 
heavy set, bright smile, bright eyes, but his yeah. sleeves rolled to the elbows and just all business. She turns around, and you can see the, <laughs> the fingers are kind of hit with what looks to be um, probably whatever material was used to apply the burn bandages to the one soldier. She kind of rubs, wipes her hands, kind of this kind of viscous oil-like substance, and wipes them on a cloth. What can I help you? Hi, yes, I'm Beauregard of the Cobalt Soul. I've been sent here from Zadash. I'm. Oh, uh, all right. Um, if you have uh, a few minutes, I'd love to <laughs> ask you a few questions. So certainly, just uh, feel free to go and ask. Uh, and we're just taking statements from people trying to figure out some incongruencies that might have been happening over the past few months. Incongruency. All right. Uh, Did you, have you noticed any increase mm. amount of patients? Feeling sick, sluggish, anything off? Well, uh, I mean, they, they're pretty sluggish right now, but that's yeah, for yeah. obvious reasons. Not um, like the most recent, you know, two weeks burned in a fire type of off, like before then. Now we've had a few strange complaints, maybe about a month, two months ago. Okay. Um, just kind of a wave of general, kind of a, a nauseous, I assumed it was maybe some bad food. It got through a bit. It wasn't too serious. A wave of nausea. <laughs> Anything else? How? What makes you think that they were related as opposed to general food poisoning? What was strange about them? It was a bunch of people all complaining about the same thing in a very short period of time. I just assumed maybe it was related. Do they all happen to live in a similar area of town? Yeah, they were all in the cluster. Not like right in this region, which is why they all came to me. All in a cluster. <laughs> Sorry, just taking notes. Just want to make sure. Yeah, yeah no, no worries. Uh, um, okay. Anything else? It seems like it might be spark your memory of being a little bit odd. I mean, the town was attacked, and people were killed and burned. That's strange. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Did you know a man by uh, the name of Yeza? Yeah, yeah. He was right down the street. Yeah. Did he come in around that time with a batch of people who were feeling nauseous? Uh, no. Uh, to be honest, I was kind of busy trying to treat who I could. That was. That was not a good day. It was all one day. No, it was one night, really. At midnight, suddenly buildings were up in flames, people were screaming, and I looked out there and there were bricks running through the street. Do you mind if I talk to a few of your patients for a second? <laughs> Be my guest. If you um, think of anything, if you remember anything, I don't have a card, um, but... <laughs> Okay, I'm staying. I'll be in town. I might be back. Great. Well, if, if you think of any other questions, feel yeah. free to ask. Thank you, Miss. <sighs> Next time on Columbo. <laughs> <laughs> what was the point where she was on and goes, and one more. Yeah, one, one, one more question. One more question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that. Take off my glasses. For our younger audience, Columbo is a television series. Okay, I'm going to go over to one of the guards. Okay, there's one that appears to be asleep. Uh, who looks to be a little more like combat wounded, and the one that's semi-conscious is mostly looks like burns. Is the one who's semi-conscious conscious enough to speak? He seems to be. He's simply going. I go up and I kind of just like slap one of his wounds. Oh, what is wrong with you? <laughs> oh, who are you? What's up? <sighs> Name's Bo, with the Cobalt Soul. Great! Yeah, what's your name? Jeff. <laughs> Good work. It's spelled weird. G G E O F. It's also, it's got, it's also it's got, got, two, a got two apostrophes in. between the S. <laughs> 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 oh, the umlauts yeah. over the second F. Look, man, not everyone in a fantasy setting is awesome names. <laughs> 
like Jeff. Good to meet you, Jeff. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you patrol a cluster normally? Uh, yeah, but I'm not laid up like this. You look pretty badly burned, obviously. Yeah, no, uh, that's why I was really appreciating your entrance there. <laughs> yeah. Very thoughtful. Yeah. Here, I, I give him a little bit of my wine from my wine pouch. Uh, I accept your recompense. Sorry. I'll mix well with the pouch. He's pointing, Demi's like, wait, 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 no, 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 no. Oh, sorry, sorry, Demi, sorry. He's already had enough. Uh oh. Um, Jeff, I was just curious if you happen to know what happened to Yessa Bronato, or if you were around when the apothecary burned. Oh, uh, yeah. That's, that's where I got all this. Oh, oh. He's trying to get people out of the flames. Managed to get his son out, it seems. Really? Yeah. Uh, Crick's got him and ran. The Crick's got him? Yeah. Did you, did you see which direction they ran? Back to the fucking hole they headed northward. Are you sure it was the Cricks? Yeah. It's like four of them. Okay. <sighs> did you see anything else? Yeah, I saw the fire that they pushed me into and I tried to stop them. <sighs> <sighs> you were the one who got Luke out? Well, me and two others, but they didn't, you know, fare as poorly as I did. All right, well, anything else you remember? Anything spark in your mind, trying to figure this shit out? Uh, I know that's vague, but. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. I mean, it was crazy. They, they, they came in quick. The fires were set before we knew what was happening. Did you feel like they were looking for something in particular? Uh, were they targeting places? I guess. I mean, the last place they lit was the apothecary. Okay. Well, look, you, you did a good thing, all right, man? You saved a kid. Thanks. It was my friend's kid. I don't really care about the kid, but it was my friend's kid, so. Here, I pull out 20 gold. Kind of throw it on the table. Ooh, his eyes kind of go wide. You can split that up with your friends, or if you want to keep it, I don't really give a fuck. You so said you're from the Cobalt Soul? Yep. Bye! <laughs> Perfect. Tracy! Hey, hey, Laura. Hey, Laura. Hey. That's a pretty good penis you drew over there. Thanks. It's very, it's very lifelike. Oh my God, it's big. <laughs> Sam told me to. Did you hear Sam what was revealed in that moment? He's coming from the depths. Yeah, yeah he did. Looks <laughs> like some stuff happened there too. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's, yeah. this is serious, guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anybody else doing anything before you guys reconvene? Uh, oh, that wrapped up everything else. Do. Is there anything else you want to look for? Or are you ready to gather? I know, it feels like no, there's we're, we're supposed keep going, to do keep something. Going. I don't know. I, no, I'm, I just, I'm, I'm just no, curious no, no, let's if, keep if, going. if you've completed your investigation. Oh, oh, is there a furniture maker in town? Because I really would like to ask some questions about that chair. <laughs> my, my, husband, my husband is missing! I'm done, I'm done. I'm really, I'm good. This is my attempt to rally everybody. It worked, it was, I swear. Don't look at me like that, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! There's just dicks over there. I don't know what to do. There's no escape, Talos. There's no escape. <laughs> just potential just dicks now. Dicks. That's a better. Just potential dicks. Yeah. The opportunity. <laughs> Is there? Are there specific areas where the tunnels were like collapsed after they went back in them and, and covered them? You up? can go look if you want to. Yeah, we could. We should look. We yeah, should I'd like to do that. That's actually a really good idea. Are we I'd meeting like back case... up? Yeah, we should meet yeah. up and then search. Okay. I meet back up. I. Kick down the door and I go. Apparently, he was taken by Cricks, and Wait, then I fill him in. He was. Can we call them Crin, please? Crin, Crin. That's what they actually are. Apparently, he was taken by Crin. Thank you. He was taken by Crin, not by. I talked to some soldier boy named Jeff. Weird name. I actually. know, right? His parents must not have loved him. Um, I think Jeff's and... a really nice name. Yeah. 
Oh, Jeff, right now we're fucking giving you the bird. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. Jeff's a great name, that's why I used it. Jeff is a great name. Stupid. Keep going. Yeah, keep digging, keep digging. Yeah. <laughs> it's your fucking... what? Tell me what Jeff fucking said! He said four Kryn came in, scooped up uh, your husband, Wait, and he ran saw off. that happen? Yeah, he was He was there. He ran in, he saved your son. Well, I gave shit, him this changes goals. everything. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait. This is why wait. we don't run, run in at what full speed. What is the possibility? <laughs> That your mean people can change memories. Oh. Uh, pretty good. Still, mm-hmm. this is, we should at least investigate this lead now, yeah. and tomorrow, if we don't know what's going on, I can, and I warn you, I will do this, but I'm going to get a little exhausted doing it. Um, right. But I can at least give us some sense of, of what's ahead. Should I try to send him a message and see if he responds? Oh. Couldn't hurt. It could hurt. Could hurt. It could definitely hurt. If she sends a message and he's with the Rexin from Would folks, they, know? they might be able to sense that. You're talking about what Not and I do or what you do? What I do. I don't. I do, you, you, well, that's between you and your god, Jester. Can't, uh, can't they respond to your messages? Well, yeah, but I mean, I can say don't say, respond if you're by anybody that, you know. Or if you're alive, just say Al. Oh, that's good. What if I do that? Why don't we try what? Mr. Clay's idea first? Just to see if he's alive, and then we'll try to send a message. And let's take a look at these tunnels. I'm yeah. actually very curious about We'll go this. find a nearby Crown's Guard and see if they can point us in the direction of where some of those collapsed tunnels were. Okay. So you head into tunnels first? Mm-hmm. Okay. And is it dark yet? Uh, by this point, you guys gathering, yeah, dusk has happened. Yeah. Yeah. So you can eat first or miss your meal. Yeah, we only have an hour. We get, get little, our free food. Get a little food and then we'll check it out by okay. night. Okay, so you, the, the meal is actually quite fresh. Um, being a farm town, it's nothing fancy, but everything is hearty and and uh, quite quite delectable. Um, heading your way outside of Felderwin to the northeast side, where it begins to border onto the tillage itself, you can see there is a group of about eight crowns guard that are circled around what looks to be three, uh, what would have been the exit burrows. Um, from this distance, you can see uh, they're mostly like. It's kind of like a sinkhole, like it's kind of caved in a bit. You can't, from this distance, you can't see any further in than just a few inches to indicate that the, that seems to be where it was. And the guards are keeping a, you know, a perimeter just in case anything were to return. Uh, I'll walk up. <clears throat> Excuse me. As you approach, like, all right, can I help you? Yeah, sorry, we're kind of just passing by. We heard this was uh, the scene of all the unfortunateness. Yeah, that's what I hear too. Um, has it been cased this area? I mean, just searched for, I don't know, anything left over by the invading hordes? As far as I know. I'm just stationed here, but I mean, they've been looking this thing up and down for about two, almost three weeks now. So. Who's they? The the guard, the righteous brand. Yeah. Some of them fancy folk from Rexentrum. Fancy? Yeah, I mean, they're all fucking fancy from up there, but like some of them elvish people. Oh, I think I saw them. What were they doing? I don't fucking know. They don't talk to me. Fair enough. You know if they found anything, took anything out of the dirt? No. They tell you uh, that these might open up again or that it might be in imminent peril? I mean, I see there's like eight of you guys. I certainly hope not from what I can tell. I mean, it wasn't just the cricks. I mean, one of the guys when the soldiers goes like, I was here, I, I, I saw it. You were here. Yeah, no, it was, uh, I mean, they didn't, they didn't dig them. <laughs> Something dug it for them. Is that right? It's a big, big old mouth made of teeth, just kind of carved out of the ground, and they withdrew, and then they pulled out. <laughs> My God, that sounds terrible. Yeah, yeah, um, I hate this job. <laughs> what happened when you saw the big mouth with teeth? What'd you do? Fuck what do you think I'm gonna do? Damn right, fast you could, I bet. Yeah, and the other guys kind of look at him like, fuck, it's like, wow, you would've done the same. Was it like a worm or something? Something like that, yeah. Did it come Big. out of the ground or did it go back in after it 
you know. it, it broke through, but just came out just a few feet, and then it pulled back in. And you were like, what the fuck is that? And then the crick just came running out. Do you think the crane came out of the worm thing? I mean, it's possible. How, how big was this was this creature? I don't know, it was, it was big. Uh, what I saw, it was maybe like, I don't know, 10, 10 feet wide? Whoa. Wow. That's significant. Uh, what, were you also here or far away when they made their hasty retreat? I was over there. Uh-huh. And he points off maybe 100 or so feet away. <laughs> Keeping an eye out? Yeah. Could you see anything that was driving them off or were they just taking their sweet time as they left? At this point, the other first guy you're talking to goes like, Hey, and, um, what's your business here, anyway? We've come across these, uh, cricks before. Um, we saw them in the dash. There was a big ruckus in the middle of the city. I'm trying to learn all we can. I just don't know when we'll come across them next. I feel like share and share alike, you know? Make a, make a, make a deception check. 16. 16. Kind of nods for a second, I guess. All right, so I guess, um, yeah, have a look around. I mean, it's already been given the once over many times, so take a moment if you need it. Has anyone gone down and followed the tunnels? I mean, there's any points over to the third one, he goes, they've been digging that one for about two weeks, but eventually gave up. Why'd they, uh, why'd they stop? Well, they collapsed them behind them, and there's only so much you can go. We, I mean, if they dug all the way from Jorah, do you have any idea how long those tunnels would go for? Pretty long. Don't really have that kind of manpower here in Felderwin. You know, soldiers all left, so I'm not gonna keep digging. I appreciate it. We won't take up much of your time. We just thought we'd have a gander around, if that's all right. Yeah, go for it. Just, uh, how many, how many you got? And you're all investigating. And some of us are just kind of like hanging out. It wasn't our intention, but things being what they are, this, uh, this seems to be the new reality of the world, doesn't it? All right, just no funny business. I'll be keeping an eye on you. Fair enough. Yes, sir. Well, being that fancy folk were here, I don't suppose there's any point in doing our particular brand of searching. I, I have a question. Hmm. When you blink out, I haven't done it very much, hmm. but I feel like it's the ethereal plane, right, that we go to? The what? The ethereal plane? What is that? It's another plane. The Traveler told me about it. I don't, I don't talk to the Traveler. Oh, well, I feel like we go to this other plane, right? And you can walk through things on that plane because uh -huh. it's not quite the same. So what if we blinked <clears throat> and then we could go through where they collapsed the tunnel and then we could be in the tunnel and just see, you know, and then come back. That's a good idea, except for what if the whole tunnel's collapsed and we just blink into the earth? Well, I don't think you can do that, mm. right? I mean, I imagine anything is possible in this world of magic and mystery, but I bet it would hurt. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you can't blink if the, Trailer if the spot is taken up, right? I would say if I would say if you were attempting to blink into a solid space, it would shunt you out of the space, oh. and you would take a little bit of force damage. Oh. Well, That's I'm all general up for that. rules for shifting out of ethereal space into matter. I'm not trying to dimension door. That says that one scares me a bit. Now, I don't know about you, but when I blink, I can only appear about ten feet from where I previously was. Yeah, that's what I mean. I mean, we blink right here, uh -huh. and then we walk where the tunnel was, and we go into the tunnel. I uh, I can walk through stone. Or we could just do that. <laughs> yeah, that's better. <laughs> but I, I mean, I wanna know where I was going, and I can only go alone. Yeah, I'm no expert on worms, but I would imagine that it is more collapsed earth than open space. I would imagine so as well. Uh, 
They chew their way through the earth and they poop out the remains. Just honey, all the way back. <laughs> or molasses. Or molasses. Boy. No, that's... So much nature never mind. poop. getting it mixed up. Sorry. So our choices are... Well, we're gonna, we should have this conversation in, in here, because I want to take a look around in this thing. In the tunnel? Yeah, they offered we'll us, we'll they told us so they're like, it's like sunken earth, yeah. right? How, no, how yeah. So as, as you approach and see, like, like, like the, there, there are three tunnels, mm -hmm. and they're scattered maybe 300 feet apart from each other, approximately between two and 300 feet. The first one you're at here sinks in about 10, 15 feet, and it just looks like crumbled stone and earth. Uh, with patches of you know fresh dirt, and you can see the roots that were appended as it tore through, just kind of folding over onto the pile. Um, and that this looks like it's been left as it was. Mm -hmm. You go over to inspect the other one, and the same guard and a few others kind of walk with you to keep a close eye. Uh, the one in the middle, this is the one that's been dug out, um, and it's just pitch black below. Light. You can see what. Okay, you cast light. You know, the soldiers kind of take a step back as soon as they see you make a gesture, and you know brightness seems to appear. Um, Soul and stone. Yeah. Uh, so the the tunnel goes straight down, like a, a, or not close to straight down. It come, comes at a fairly steep incline. Uh, there is a rope affixed to what looks to be a, a heavy wooden uh, like a pipe of some kind that's, that's banged into the ground. And uh, as you kind of do, you head down inside. I uh, I mean, yeah. Unless anybody's got an objection. Nope. All right. Oh, you're, you're doing your walk thing. No, it's no I'm just so walking. We're just going into the well, you're, And your, your walk technically can only go something that's five feet in width. You can't, you can't like just glide through stone. Oh, is that true? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Well, I don't have it as an option right now anyway. So. There you go. Yeah. Um, but you head down inside and... Uh, you know, and 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 you can see like off to the side of it, there is a small pile of dirt and rock. It looks like a lot of it has been moved off of the premise for the time being. Um, but as you head down and continue to walk, it it evens out. It probably descends a, to a depth of about fifty or sixty feet below, and continues at a steady decline, on for about another. I mean, as you continue to walk, continue to walk, you you, you get to a full. Close to 200 feet in before it comes to an ending point, you can see there's uh, a few carts at the, at the base that have been carrying dirt and rock up. You can see shovels and pickaxes and all sorts of materials that have kind of been left behind by the team that gave up trying to excavate this tunnel. Mm. And this is a. Uh, there's no marking. This is all just naturally. This is a. This is just a, an obviously organically carved. Carved tunnel. Uh, Looks to be, yeah. And the footprints going in and out, there's nothing. Uh, uh, make a survival check. I have one. I've never one of those. Whoa! Whoa. 19. Okay. Uh, there are all sorts of footprints in here. There have been soldiers and Crown's Guard and also people just in and out of this tunnel. And you can see the cart tracks and everything, but you can definitely tell that the edges of the top of the tunnel have kind of a smoother, natural carving to them, whatever creature, this is definitely burrowed. Um, with that roll, I'd say you do make a few footsteps that resemble more armored boots that are more unique Important. against the profile of the general Crown's Guard and or Righteous Brand soldiers. In both directions? Uh, in both directions. Ooh. All right. Interesting. Very interesting. They were definitely in here, and they definitely left this way. Any reason to uh, use your radar and see if anything was missed? I mean, my radar, I, what do you mean, like, like? Anything magical, anything arcane, <laughs> anything. Detect magic. Okay. Nothing in the vicinity catches your attention, unfortunately. None, really. Ah, uh, just for fun, uh, uh, because we can eyes on the grave too, um, just for fun. Okay. Nothing, Nothing catches your attention there. I figured. Nothing. So, we could continue following this tunnel for several hundred miles and see where it goes, or we could take my son to Allfield, or we could head to Rexentrum and start tracking down. 
Caleb's old teachers. They're still here. They are? I thought they bamfed out. <clears throat> we don't know. We don't really know. Well, they bamfed in. And they don't leave. Yeah, but they can do that in a basement. Yeah, but we could kill them too. I'm all for it. <laughs> What do I we do? I feel like we shouldn't try and assassinate the head of the Cerberus Assembly. Not right now, maybe. This is so I'm overwhelming. So just as a warm up. I mean, just as a warm up, All right? Do we know anyone who can help us? Well, yeah. Only. We just made an alliance, sort of, with Yusa. Yusa's pretty powerful. We and can't get back there for weeks. Good message. I could send them a message. We could also go back to Zadash. Well, we know folks there. Yeah, we do. In the morning, and I can't guarantee this, but we'll at least know if he's alive and mm -hmm. maybe a sense of whether or not he's above ground or below ground, and that'll certainly inform our decision. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Maybe. I'll glean what I can, but uh, it's a it's a it's a soft process. Okay. Do we want to abandon this tunnel? I can jump forward ninety feet in a direction. If you bend forward and there is stuff blocking the way, will you get really hurt? I don't know. I think I'll get shunted out. Are you talking about the Charted. thundery one Charted. that's real loud? That's a little different. Yeah, that one. Right. Yeah, it won't collapse the tunnel on our heads. When do you do or it? Or just right? walk 90 feet ahead. <laughs> <laughs> the tunnel is blocked. Oh, okay. Yeah, about 200 feet in, the tunnel is blocked. Oh, okay. And we have no idea how deep the blockage goes. If I got go over Just so you're aware, yeah. Thunder Step, as most teleportation effects, you have to teleport to a location you can see. see. <clears throat> in my mind's eye. I mean, <laughs> if you want to get real crazy, roll the dice. <laughs> just roll the roll the dice. dice. I'm going to try roll something really quickly dice. just for fun. Just imagine the inside of a dragon. Uh, I'm going to use thaumaturgy really yeah. quickly, and I'm going to broadcast, I'm going to start a low um, a bass chant, and I'm going to throw it as far forward down that tunnel as I possibly can to see if I cannot get some sort of vibration coming back that they can hear. So, chance. I'm just I'm just gonna start throwing just this, and just if there's do, air to vibrate, it, do, uh, do, I can or I'm making sound in solid rock, do, 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 as like as as a as a as a boosting of your. All right, I'll it may not work. I see what you're doing. Um, it may not work. I'm trying to use some sort of nature theory here. That's interesting. It's a cantrip, so there's definite limitations of on its course. ability. It's the most powerful. Go ahead. Well, I use thaumaturgy, and I'm like, "Whoa, that's so really cool! Did you see it?" And there's a bunch of whispers of people going, "That's so cool." That's really yeah. <laughs> you can get really loud. Can I get like? That's the question: is is is, no, is can I get loud enough to hear myself through the like like I, if I was trapped in there or? What a good idea. Am I? Yeah. I'll say uh, two things. One, roll just roll a straight wisdom check for me. Straight wisdom check. Uh, Thirteen. Thirteen. Okay. Close your eyes and focus, and feeling your feet connecting with the earth below you and letting the Wild Mother's power kind of suffuse your torso and your abdomen and your legs and your feet and into the earth below as you begin to release that low vibration. The hum carries through your body and into the rock below, and the vibration carries into the ground. And due to the nature of this cavern you're in, it echoes pretty loudly in this space. Um, so you can all kind of gently feel it, and the guards in the back kind of start looking around a bit nervous, not quite sure what's happening. One of them runs off afraid it's like, ah, it's gonna collapse! Um, I'm picturing like a didgeridoo. <coughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, you run it for a while, you've, you've, you've cast the vibration into the rock, and then are you going to, what are you gonna do to try and listen for it? Um, Honestly, I'm just going to try and just cut it off and see if there's an echo coming through the rocks, basically, just in that split second. I can make a perception check. Into it. Uh, 18. 18. You immediately rush up to the edge of where the stone is, the most solid mm -hmm. piece of it that's on that side, and listen. Uh, you feel like you can very vaguely hear 
what might be a gap a ways in at some point. Okay. You're like you're you're not sure how far away it might be, uh, and you're not sure how big the gap may be. It's it could be just a, a small pocket, it could be a continuation of the tunnel. But there does appear to be some minor element of vibration that carried through with some differentiation. How deep are we underground right now? At, 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 the, at the foot of this tunnel, I'd say you're about 80 or so feet deep. Okay, cool. I'm just going to do that. I'm not going to inform anybody of anything that just happened and be like, okay, I'm good. Back to the end. Back to the end. All right. Thank you for that. As you guys gather your thoughts and march back to the inn in the evening air over Filterwin, we're going to go and take a break. Hey. We're, sure you can. we're going to be right back here in a few minutes. But in the interim, we have our fantastic friends at Wormwood's Wormwood giveaway. Run, run like the wind. Running. Yes, go do the other D and D streaming show that she's on. Exactly. <laughs> this is wow. Bolivian. That was good. <laughs> yeah. Bolivian rosewood. Oh. Nice leather interior. There, really nice dice box going to one of our friends out there. So, for you guys who want to uh, enter this drawing at the break, head on over to the Critical Role Twitch chat. That's uh, twitchtv Critical Role, and enter the key phrase tension. T e n s i o n. Tension. Tension. Who did you know? Uh -huh. It's like last week ended with a lot of tension. <laughs> um, but enter it once, more than once, you'll be disqualified. And uh, unfortunately, due to giveaway rules, uh, only people in the US and Canada, excluding Quebec, can enter. We'll have a winner when we return. So, see you guys here in a few minutes. Oh, wow. And welcome back. <laughs> so, before we jump back in, we have a winner of our uh, Wormwood giveaway. The winner tonight is. Palengratz. 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 Congratulations, we'll get that sent to you ASAP. And uh, we'll have the next giveaway next week. So. This is my current notebook. That's my notebook. As you all return back to the tavern where you're staying, the Goldenfield Tavern and Lodge, you gather your thoughts and yourselves in your respective chambers. What would you like to do? Shit, we should have talked about this during the fucking break. No, nope, that would have been, that been out of form for us. No, we don't do that. What do uh, we do? <laughs> we, plan, we plan everything. Yes, of course. Okay. I tried to get a sense if there was something beyond uh, oh, yeah. beyond that, and uh, I don't know. I got a hint of something. You I did. think I think maybe there's something past that wall. Oh, in the tunnel. In the tunnel. I'm talking about my husband, who I want to know if he's alive or not. I can't know that till till dawn, but if we do decide to go that direction, I think that there is definitely a chance that we could dig far enough and deep enough to make passage. Okay. Guys, hot take. <laughs> the Kryn aren't the bad guys. You what? Know, it's what? funny. I, that's that is a hot take. It's funny that you said that because, and it may have been because I was not drunk at the time, I was thinking when you were talking, Caleb, or Bren, about Rexentrum and how it's heavily protected and guarded and how it's impossible to get in and, and make an assault on it. I just immediately thought, well, what if we went in with the, with the Kryn and attacked with them? Or to do. You're talking about to aligning ourselves sitting. with the people that ganked your husband. I, I don't know that they've ganked him. I mean, uh, we well, can. All, you know, he might be dead. We'll know tomorrow. He might be ganked, but he might not be ganked by who we think ganked him. I mean, aside from the mind-altering magic that we've already mentioned, all of us can change our appearance. Maybe what you're talking about, about them coming in and using the crick, maybe that's what they did. Maybe they did your exact suggestion first, and they disguised themselves to look like the crin and come in. I don't know. I don't so know. Many so many unknowns! So many unknowns! So, I did not say that it is heavily fortified, although I'm, I'm I'm sure this is the largest city in the Empire. Um, but when I lived there, and it was only briefly when I was at school, um, I had, I could go anywhere in the city I wanted because I'm a citizen of the em Empire. And but I assume it's a hard place to attack or infiltrate. 
the largest city in the Empire. Arexandrum. Yeah. yeah. That would be hard to attack. Unless you could dig underground with a bunch of pet worms. It does make one wonder why they haven't done that yet. Also Maybe makes it... baby steps. Yeah. Doesn't feel like too many places on the map are off limits. Plus, it'd be super nice if you could, you know, take the most powerful city in the Empire and slow it the fuck down before you attacked it. That might work. I don't. This is all very confusing. So, um, speaking of, when I was talking to the doctor, Demi, she said she had a few instances over the last month or so where people were coming in feeling nauseous, feeling not like themselves in a kind of a grouped amount of time, all from the cluster. Do we want to poke this thing tonight, or do we not? Poke the, poke the, the tunnel? tunnel? Not the tunnel, the tunnel. I mean, we'll get to the tunnel. We need to get, we need to get her son out, and then we can decide. What thing were you talking about poking? We have an object. We have another object. We have. <coughs> I maybe we haven't really. Un, I mean, I doubt that we really understand what we have. But but. You want to head towards. Jorhas is what you're saying. I mean, we have these things right now. Are you saying you want to look at them? I kind of do. Because you just said we shouldn't pull it out, and especially right now, if people are looking for it, it could be really, really bad. I suppose, I... That's the thing. You're talking about poking that thing, the dodecahedron? Yep. That's what he's talking about. No. What? To do what? Mm. Because it's there to do. Normally, all about that. Yeah. No, we, we, if we need for the thing that is a bit, then you know. I'll, I'll, red button. I'll, I'll follow the group, but I'm. The dragon sucked. I'm, I'm here because where I was, I was out of options, and uh, we've definitely found some options. I don't know what they mean yet, but I went looking for them, and here we are. I agree. Caleb, I'm yeah. sorry. Caduceus. Freudian slip. <laughs> Uh, Carl, Kevin, keep going. Brent. Uh, Jeff, it's a case sale. <laughs> um, you said the life force was being sucked away from your your grave, from your home. That's right. Has been for a while. The the the, the force that surrounds it, the corrupted force, is overtaking it as if the magic that uh, held it in place is being supplanted and. I'm of the opinion that that's, that shouldn't be happening. And there are several other, we're not the only, uh, we're not the only site like our own, and we haven't had really much communication with the other sites, so I don't know if it's happening, happening anywhere else, but. Do you want me to send them a message? I wouldn't even know who to send it to. Okay. But, um, uh, we're supposed to protect that place, and I was running out of ideas. You said we. My family. How many of them are there? Oh, lots, but uh, I mean, depending on when and where, but yeah, we were, we've, members of my family and, and others have been protecting that, that, uh, that place for as long as it has existed. We built, we built the temple, we founded it. And your family is still there now? No, they, <clears throat> uh, they all left. You uh, said also to look for answers though, right? Yeah. They just left first? Yeah, and none of them have come back. You have any idea which direction they were heading? Uh, not really. I mean, you, you can speak to the Wild Mother. You've checked in on a few of our friends. Do you ever check in on them? See what the Wild Mother tells you? I feel like she would let me know if I needed to know, and that's not an answer I really want the, that's not an answer I'm looking for right now. Okay. I'm sure you understand. I do. Best to have faith and not second guess how she's decided to move forward. But uh, if I recall, 
And Corin talked about trying to find some of the other, some of the other uh, temples, but I don't. No one's come back, and when you came around, it seemed like I had an inkling that it was supposed to be my job to do this from the beginning, and that I had been shirking my duties. And you all seemed like a very good sign that it was time to take some responsibility. What was your name before this? <laughs> <laughs> Those who knew me called me Jeff. <laughs> such a good name, it's such a good name. It's a good it's name. Wrong. Spelled it with a G. A yeah. yeah, no. <laughs> I got, I've got nothing to hide. Jeff with a G or Jeff with a J? G, what's wrong with you? I'm not Don't even. sure. <laughs> Can we go to sleep so I can find out if my husband's alive? <laughs> yeah. well, now I've got anxiety. I may not sleep tonight. Now it's just real. It's a lot of pressure to put on a <laughs> you know, like herbal tea, some melatonin, something, right? Oh, this is caffeinated. I'm gonna be up all night. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but Jester, hmm. you okay? Yeah. What's wrong? It's just a little overwhelming, you know. I mean. This is some serious shit, and I mean, I kind of just, you know, came from Nicodranus, and everything was kind of nice. And the Empire's really fucked up. And everybody went through such horrible things, and I'm, I'm really sorry for everyone. That's all. Thank you. But I promise you, if you stay with us, you will also go through some horrible, horrible things. Don't worry, not. I already have. <laughs> oh, good. But I'm, I'm sure there is worse to come. <laughs> we'll get through it, though. I mean, nice is boring after a while. <clears throat> Yeah. We can get to nice, right? Mm. I would like nice again at some point. I just want home back. I want to want to know that it's safe again. I mean, I'm sure there's some beachfront property open in Nicodranus. Maybe if we, you know, work really hard, pull our funds, we can retire. Yeah. You're always retire? welcome where I live, though. So. I mean, I'm like <clears throat> nine, so I don't know about retiring yet, but. <clears throat> oh, that's Do you a want good to question. be a halfling again? I want to be me again, yes. Yes, and I, I hope that someday it can happen. We should talk to you, sir. Maybe he can help you. That's true, he's a very powerful wizard. That would be nice. You didn't get turned into all the things that you're afraid you are. It's, it's not how this shit works. Well, I guess it remains to be seen. You're still pretty cool. I mean, the coolest goblin I've ever known. Yeah, I suppose. That one in, in, in Nicodronus was pretty cool, though. He had, like, I slick know, back right? hair. And yeah, he was wearing pretty fancy clothes weird. and stuff. Yeah. Do you want us to still call you not? Or vet? I think, well, that's weird. <laughs> <laughs> Let's stick with not for now. And when when I'm when I'm back again, I'll I'll change it. Not in Caleb, it is. Till you're ready for something else. Absolutely. 
Mighty nine. Made of seven people. Yeah. Works well, great. Nothing makes sense. Nope. <laughs> not the name, not the group, none of it. I'm going to bed. <laughs> that was as Caleb. In camera. <laughs> you sang. Yes, sir. Weirdest use of presentation I've ever seen. Sam's eyes. Little floating trombones. <laughs> Mysterious, <laughs> merry melodies, like. <laughs> um, all right, you guys get an evening's rest in your respective rooms. The morning greets you with the smell of food being prepared as you head downstairs, as all of you and what looks to be two other patrons that are a couple of other farm hands. What do they look like? They look like farm hands. <laughs> What is their real name? <laughs> their names, are, their names are Chair. How many names do we have? Together, they are Chair. <laughs> You're a chair. I've been lying, you don't even have a leg to stand on. Oh, oh God. God. Leave the table, leave the table. Yeah, that's, that's. Uh, when everyone's serious, Taliesin is the comic relief. <laughs> <laughs> To bring the awkward. <laughs> Good, I love it. All right, so you have your meal. The day is yours. What do you wish to do? I'm going to find an appropriate spot, somewhere quiet, somewhere with a view, somewhere un, um, somewhere, somewhere where the wild mother's work is well at hand. Okay, uh, that would be probably either on the tillage itself or some of the um, small. Grove clusters uh, all on the river that you guys were talking earlier. Mm. Um, so I assume you're casting divination. Mm -hmm. So just a reminder: uh, it is a specific question concerning a goal, event, or activity to occur within seven days. It is the ask about the chair? You entirely throw me. Was the chair made by Jeff? So just whatever you're trying to ascertain, it needs to be involving a specific goal, an event, or activity. Within the next seven days. Yeah, I was gonna kind of just basically go for the same thing I did last time, um, if that if that still suits. It's kind of how I wanted. You, unless you would like me to shift a little bit uh, for your own. I I I I let it go a little bit last time, only because it was it was a question of like, you know, mm. what are what were they doing right now? Mm -hmm. And I was like, well, that that's an activity that they were doing, I guess. Um, so just choose your words carefully. Is all I'm saying. A goal? Hmm. An event or an activity. I mean, that's a broad spectrum, so just be specific. Uh, yes, uh, I have to want to make sure I'm getting the name right, right? Yes. Ye Yeza? Yeza. Yeza, Yeza. Yeza. Brenato. Yeza. 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 Sit, make my circle. What is Yeza's destination? Pushing a few days forward. You close your eyes and concentrate. It's a beautiful morning, actually. The sky, it's, 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 a, it's a chilly morning, but um, you know, this far enough south in the Empire hasn't hit snow yet. The full winter hasn't come into effect, so it's still green fields and mostly blue sky with bits of clouds. As you concentrate, the chilled wind kind of picks up a little bit. And across the wind, it begins to form words through your ears. Hordranas. 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 That's all I have. That's in, that's, we've heard that before. Yeah, it's in, it's, in the, it's in here. It's in the papers. Yes, 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 it's in there. Yeah. So the crick took him. Oh, yeah. Does that mean he's alive? Probably. What eons or the rituals have they Thank you, beneath Jesus. their baneful seems, citadel? They have a citadel. Seems silly to move someone who isn't. 
anyone here is proficient in history, go ahead and make a history check if you don't mind. I am. The How's officer. Yasha? Because she's Yasha. been to fucking Jorhas That's right. before. I do know about. Yeah, I know. Where's what's Yasha up to? What yeah, Yasha's do? with you guys. Yeah. Does she know anything about what? this place, or? I also have notes, and I read a, a book at the uh, Cobalt So about Jorhas. Yeah, I'm just. I have all that. But what did you roll? Oh, 17. 17, okay. Yeah. 19. I'm, I'm seeing how much detail you get. Yeah. 19, good, good. Um, yeah, Chef first pipes in and goes, Well, I've heard the name. It's far further north than where I lived, and we avoided it because it, you know, a lot of the beast folk live that way. Beast folk, what do you mean? Meaning the others who wander the wastes. Mm. Uh, there are, you know, men who are like bull warriors as well, and uh, bugbears, and other goblinoids. Uh, some are wild and angry and hungry, and we have to protect or raid them first. Others, they work with the, uh, the cream. That's farther north, but I've not been there. Have you ever heard of something called the Luxon? I have not. What is that? What's the Luxon? The Luxon. What is that? It's a casino. Uh, no, no, it is not. Uh, it is. I'm not sure. I read about them, or it. I don't know what it. The, what it is. Something that is having some sort of negative effect on the people of Godranas. Would I know anything about that? Uh, no, you would not. Um, but with the history checks you guys did pull on Gordranas. Gordranas um, is important uh, to the history of the Age of Arcanum. When the gods walked the earth, both prime deities and the betrayer gods, there were various areas that were considered their realm of influence on the mortal plane, outside of their home, you know, realms and the different inner and outer planes. Um, and a number of these citadels of the Betrayer Gods were concentrated around Jorhas and the surrounding landscape. That's where the most intense battles took place of the Calamity, was on Wildmount. And uh, Gordranas was the name of the center of their tenuous union. Essentially, in the, uh, the final years of the Calamity, it was where all of the Betrayer Gods would go to plot the undoing of the rest of the free people and their creators in Exandria. It's also what remains of Gordranas is where the Kryon have established their empire, their dynasty. It's essentially the capital city of the Kryon dynasty. And what was it that those letters were saying? It was under Gordranas? Were they looking for things? In? No, that was. No. They were just saying that they couldn't believe that. Kodranus was holding secrets, like that they had a whole other school of magic that we haven't discovered here, and. This, everything we've been talking about, yeah. they, they, it says in there that they can troll fate and time. Yeah. Yasha pipes up and says, from all that I know, uh, people in my clan saying that that area up north is perpetual night. Mm. Around all around Godranas. From what I hear, yes. Wow. <clears throat> well, an empress runs it named Layla Skrin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember hearing about her. We may get lucky if we go into that tunnel 
they, they may still just be preparing at some point to head in that direction. They're not there yet. So we could go after them. And maybe we would. We're talking about hundreds of miles. Yeah, they haven't made it that far yet, though. They're. That's where they will be, not where they are. That's a note. Just to remind you, mm. if you're thinking of distances and times. Sorry. Mm. Um, the attack transpired weeks ago. Yeah. Yeah. So, you're not right on their tail. No. Just right. consider that and what you're planning. They fucking help. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mind you, your yeah. options are your options, and the north is looking there, interesting. Though. There are many possibilities here. Many. But you're focusing on. It's a hub episode. Your fellow. Well, yes, if that's all right with you, but I don't want to drag you all to the center of Jorahas, where the beasts live, and the, the capital city where the Empress is. It seems like if we go to Rexentrum, we're in deep trouble, and if we go to Jorahas, we're in even worse trouble. Mm, I think trouble's going to close up on us no matter what. There are beasts in the north, but Yeza is not, so. I mean, what else are we going to do? I oddly feel more comfortable going to Gordranus than I do going to Rexumtrum. I feel like it might be a How sign. How do we get there? I mean, are we really going to go through tunnels for several weeks We've until we get... We've got a cart. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even kidding a bit. We just, maybe, maybe not. We just take our cart and we head straight toward the worst of the war. Yeah, that and makes And then when we sense. get there, what do we say? It's, hey, it's, everybody, we're here in town to sell our wares. We don't even know if the tunnels are accessible to us. Why don't we just see if they are first? And I'll also say, it's not the worst of the war right now, is it? Is, is, is Gordranus, or that's, that's past it? You don't quite know where Gordranus is. Yeah. Um, you know it's east. Right now, the war is right here. All right. This is... Uh, th- these are the garrisons that that uh, yeah. put that in the center there. By the Broken Veil Bluffs, this is where the two, the Ashgard and the Rockard garrisons are. Um, one of the garrisons has been lost to the Kryn, Um and they're currently holding it at the border. Blade Garden, right there, is the, the foremost front of the military now, and where mo- the conflict right now is being held, from what you've heard so far, and your information is you know, dicey at best. Because yeah, yeah. you've been gone for a while. But last you know, this was where the focus of the conflict is. There you go. Gentlemen, you can't fight in here. It's the war room. <laughs> <laughs> if we go over land, we'll be going right through the front of the war. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. If we go we under through. land, we'll be underground for weeks. Also <laughs> in tunnels built by for war. Yes. Yeah, the thing I, is, there's no I, fighting the war. I agree with what. Yeah, uh, one of you. It was probably said very, it was probably for very wise. It's true and agreeable. Mm-hmm. That um, once we get there, I mean, we're fucking nobodies. Yeah. What are we gonna do? Yeah, we can't fight an entire army. We don't have to, and we don't. It's the thing is. Yeah, we took that wrong turn at Albuquerque, right? And you know, we'll get back and skedaddle out of there if we have to. Pe- Let me just send him a message. What if I'm like, hey, dude, um, do you think that you're going to be able to escape or something? Yeah, weren't we were more concerned about that when we thought he was in Rexentrum? Oh, boy. If you did send him a message, I would urge you to do something hopeful. Like what? What do you want me to say? Just stay alive and we'll try to find you. Describe him to me. Well, he is short, even for halflings, and he has bushy brown hair, Okay. sort of long sideburns. I always tell him to cut them, but he always keeps them long. He likes them long. Not? Can you make yourself look like him? Oh, that'll work. Oh. <clears throat> Sure, yes, I can. I will disguise self. And you get a very clear image of the last memory that Nod has of Yeza. Big nose. Not a great chin. (laughs) (laughs) 
bushy, dark hair, long sideburns, sort of narrow shoulders. Not a looker. I can see what um, what, what you saw in me? him. He seems like an interesting fellow. He was he was wonderful. Is. 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 Okay. How long have you two been married? Ah. Do you count the time that I was dead and a goblin? Yes. Yeah. Because I lost my ring. Well, it's really not about that, though, is it? Exactly. It's a symbol. Uh, a person's more important. Five years, then. Uh, happy <clears throat> anniversary. Right? Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Why did you say that? <laughs> it's what people say, right? Usually on the anniversary of when they were married. Not just like, you're married, happy anniversary. <laughs> Congratulations. Mm -hmm. That's better. 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 That's better. Yep. Congrats. So we have to come up with a plan for what we are doing. For sure we and, do. Uh, we are, uh, uh, Rex Centrum is uh, its own set of problems and dangers. Your husband is uh, heading towards Johas and a war. Uh, I am not feeling very optimistic about the tunnels, but I have been wrong about many things. So why don't we check out the tunnels? Let's do something okay. positive. Let's get your son out. We'll take a look. I'm, I'm also, I will admit, not feeling very positive about the tunnels, yes. but we should take a look. Because the other option is the cart. Let's go, son. Let's we're, go. We're Let's do it. To Luke first, to the son? Mm hmm. Sending him on a wagon or something? You gave, I believe you gave him quite a bit of money. Sure, sure, sure. But we More still have to tell to them it. where to go and when to go. Mm hmm. All right, we'll go there. Could we hire someone to go with him as muscle? Yes, mm -hmm. absolutely. <clears throat> there's, probably, there's probably people coming and going on most of these roads who are used to moving people across. Was there a Jeff fellow? He's he a was fighter. Uh, a little worse for wear, but he said he had a few friends that fared out okay that are still around. I could ask him for a recommendation. Okay. Well, let's go talk to Edith first, I guess. Ask her if she wants to leave. While we're going, I'm going to try to send a message to you. Yes. Okay. Okay. What message do you send? I'm a friend of Veth. Oh. We know you've been taken. But stay hopeful. We are looking for you. If you can, tell us where you are currently. There is no response. And then a very faint one. Hello? I don't know. It's very dark. I have to be quiet. But thank you. That's it. He said, it's dark, and he has to stay quiet, but thank you. Good. And it means I didn't lie to my son. We'll find him. I believe it. Yes. <clears throat> Let's go to Edith. Take care of your family. Yes, yes. Do you change your form or do you show up as he has that? I mean, 
<laughs> we talked about yeah. someone else going over there. Yeah. Okay. Holy shit. Holy shit. Scared for life. Everything's fine. Just go to the beach for a bit. Yeah, don't don't show up as his dad and ship him away. It doesn't work out well, I no. promise. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, I don't know. How do we convey this message? It's up to you. You want me to go? You're with kids, I imagine. <laughs> I do. Kids really like me. Everyone likes you. Mm. You're lovable. Thanks, Matt. Don't you think so, Ford? Mm-hmm. <coughs> but like, really? Stop it. Okay. Let's <laughs> <laughs> do stop it tonight. <laughs> Wait. Um. Okay, so I should go find. Oh, yeah, yeah, there. Yeah, um, yeah, there it is. I should go find out <laughs> Edith, <laughs> and I'm going to say what? Like, I, you're going to say, um, I have a message from Beth. She wants you to go far away where it's safe to all field. Use the money she gave you. Men will be here tomorrow to escort you. There's men coming. We're going to hire somebody. I don't know. <laughs> okay, 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 <laughs> okay. Jeff's friend. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'll oh, go God. go find old Edith. Okay, you find your way to the exterior of Edith's Jeff, house. Jeffman and Joffrey. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff's friend. Go ahead and, and a few moments past door opens. Hi, can I help you? Hi, Edith. Yeah. Hello. Hello. You may remember me from the other night I was um outside. <laughs> I'm a friend of Beth. <laughs> right, right, yes. yes. Can I help you? Yes, she, of course, had to be on her way because things are hard right now. Right. But she wanted to convey her desire for you and Lucas. Luca? Luke. Luke to find, um, wow. find your way to Allfield. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, why, why are we heading to Allfield? Because she doesn't think it is safe for you to be here right now. Now, Oldfield um, is very safe, and there's a wonderful person there named Bryce, who um, we've already sent word to, because we're pretty powerful, and okay. they'll be expecting you. She said to use the money that she gave you to, you know, head there and get a place to stay, and you know, use it for food, buy yourself okay. something nice, you know? Oh, okay. Yeah, how long are we supposed to be staying? <laughs> as long as it takes because, you know, it's pretty dangerous still, but we will be able to send word to you and let you know when it's safe to come home, which okay. is good. Okay. And you should, you know, get your stuff together because tomorrow somebody will be here to escort you to the city. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. <laughs> is there anything else I can do for you, Edith? Best customer service um, ever. Yep. Mm. Does all feel, do they have, um, I've never been to all feel. Oh, yes. So I'm just wondering, um, never mind. Well, no. <laughs> she just turns around. Okay. <laughs> that was amazing. Bryce will be looking for you. Bryce, got it. Yes. She turns back, look at this. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Have a wonderful day. <laughs> you too. Would you like to take a survey and, <laughs> and, and <laughs> tell me how my survey is? I've got a question. Five minutes of your time. Important. Is it okay that I recorded our conversation? <laughs> you need to hang up because I can't technically hang up on this call. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, and you guys go and search for uh, Jeff. <laughs> Jeff's friends. Mm -hmm. All right, go back to Demi's not, not place. Five. Demi Lovato, not Demi Lovato. Demi, Demi Lyric. Demi Lyric. Derelict. <laughs> My bones. You find Jeff there as soon as you walk into the door. Like Dem Demi's off to the side, uh, reading him what looks to be uh, like a small, like a leather-bound journal of some kind. She's either reading or making notes, and uh, looks up and goes, "Hi." Kind of look over at Demi's shoulder. What, what is she looking at? What is she writing? No, she pulls the bag. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey. Didn't mean to interrupt. This feels sensual in some ways. Tusk love? No. 
Anyway. Weird opener. Weird opener. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna toss you a pickaxe for that juggle you're using. Uh, hey, Jeff, your friends. They you look over to Jeff. He's like, oh no. <laughs> yeah. Don't tap my shoulder again. I promise I won't touch you. Your friends that you said were helping you that fared out better than you did? Yeah, what about them? Are they a little over their job? You think they might want to take a little walk about? I mean, they can't, they can't ab- abandon. They're both. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, no. What are you asking? <laughs> Fucking <laughs> AWOL. <laughs> cool, cool. <laughs> Do you know any, uh... You can the shit. <laughs> Any freelance people, mercenaries, friends who are semi-trustworthy? What Wouldn't for? I need an <laughs> escort. I need an escort to take a couple people down to Allfield. To Allfield? Yeah. Yeah, that's easy. Okay. You... Okay, I, mean, I, I, I my friends could probably do that. It's just Allfield and back. They can say it's under business. Yeah. Does that mean that like the taxpayers pay for it and we don't have to? Is it like a moment, like no. a matter of No, state you still security? have to pay them. This is under the table, oh. technically. Mm. Mm. That's what I would say. All right, cool. Um, where do I find them? Hold on. He kind of sits up and stands up slowly. I try and, ha, ha, and the meat. Ha, ha. And uh, the, <laughs> the two of you kind of limp down to one of the like tiny little seedy bars that doesn't even have like a name on the front. You know, you could just, t- you don't have to guide me, you can just. I'm gonna put it out there, you don't have a trustworthy face, they're not gonna talk to you. I need to, <laughs> I need to introduce you. All right, all right. Here, do you want it, you want a piggyback ride? Don't you touch me. <laughs> all right. You want a walking stick? I got my staff. I'll take that. All right. <sighs> anyway. You guys make your way in. <laughs> He's gonna fall on it. He's gonna fall on it. Yeah, it still has a vote. <laughs> uh, <laughs> there's, a, there's a handful of folks here. You see like, a, a, like three very, very, very old uh, farmer types that probably this is their retirement, is coming here every day and complaining and drinking themselves to their early, you know, earlier grave. Um, you do see two crowns guard that um, are having what looks to be just this, kind of working their way slowly through an ale and just kind of chatting to each other as he walks in. Hey! And like, oh, what's up? Hey, buddy, you, you're walking around. That's great. He's like, yeah, I got a job for you. Uh, what's, your, what's your name again? Bo. Bo, this is Jordan and Jay. <laughs> they're going to so go, they're going to go ahead and. Help me out with this. Oh, How much you paying? Oh my god. Um, not. How much are we paying? Whatever it fucking takes. All your money. Yes, absolutely. It's just, it's, just, it's the all field and, and back. You're just watching. Your, your. It's an escort. What's the, what's the average running cost for an escort? You see the the gentleman. She says Jordan goes. Well, uh, to and from all field, that's mm. uh, it's a number of days travel, uh, including, uh, let's see, night camping costs, food and board, staying there in all field. Um, I'd say for each of us, round trip puts you at about uh, 35 gold pieces. That's close. Give a baby. Total. I'll give you 80, 40 a piece. You can split it between the two of you. Extra five gold, make sure you actually give a fuck about this job. You're a hard negotiator, I respect that. <laughs> am, it's a am deal. Am I? Yeah, fuck yeah, man. Uh, seriously, don't fuck this up. Okay. I will fucking kill you if you fuck it up. Where did you meet this woman? <laughs> <laughs> He's just like, look. She's been this way, but she pays well, apparently, and I want to help you guys out. I'm going to go lay back down. So <laughs> Starts making his way back with your stick. Okay, you got to be at Oldie this place tonight with a cart, maybe bring some sleeping bags, some extra food. 
Where are we meeting? Kid. Uh, but I, I missed the deal. Where who who are we escorting? Old Edith. Edith. Edith yeah, and Luke. Kid, the kid. To Bryce. To Bryce. Bryce. In all field. All right, all right, I got it, I got it. All right, no worries. We got you taken care of. We got you taken care of. We're good. <clears throat> We're just gonna finish our drinks and we'll start getting our stuff together. No drinks. What's your saying? What's your saying? <laughs> I'm just a pigeon. What do you you're want? You're just coming. <laughs> <laughs> you're not even saying anything to me. You're just, a, you're just a pigeon. It's just atmosphere. Yeah. Jeff has made his way partially back to Demi's place with Jeff your staff. Right. Get your staff back. Give me my fucking staff. Oh, jeez. Okay. Blows. Hands it over. <laughs> <laughs> I do flick him in one of his burns, though. Again, just because. Oh, what is wrong with you? You're a good guy, Jeff. <laughs> That's how I show affection. I don't like you. <laughs> and then I walk off. Okay. <laughs> you guys and Jeff. makes his way back. <laughs> Oh God. Uh, all right. Well, you you've hired control. some crowns guards under the table to go ahead and keep an eye and escort Edith and Luke over to Allfield to meet with Bryce, where they're going to take care of them to some degree. Okay. So what do we do? Yes. What do you do? <laughs> we wanna... Do we go in the tunnels? We want to go to the tunnels. Okay. Well, Let's I imagine the same guards will be out there again. Um, are we just going to? Plunge on in and try to. Do we see any of the elven folk of the two that we have been talking about while we're walking? Make a perception around? check. I will join. Uh, do you want advantage on that, or do you want me to join? You do it as well. All right. Trying to trying to be good about this. Uh, that's a seventeen. Seventeen. Four. That's a one. <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 you do as well. <laughs> Two. You, you, you like your head. Your head turns to the left, and you're like, "Where are those? That cloud looks like an eagle." <laughs> Call. <laughs> uh, you could just do a pretty fair look around. You do not recognize anyone that resembles the figures in no question. Elves. No elves. All right. There are elves not, not around, like, a, like maybe like two or three since like, you've well, come here. Not, not, not with a ten tense gravitas. Right. Well, yeah. and there aren't yeah. many. Yeah. There aren't yeah. many yeah. elves yeah. in Felderwin. Most of the Empire elves are kind of further northward in the Zemni Fields. Um, you've seen a few, and then kind of a handful of maybe half elves, but uh, not, no, none of the type that you're looking for. Yeah. So not the elves you're looking for. Need the hair. Um, Can I also just mm -hmm. for like? <laughs> <laughs> no. Blanket statement. Nope. I take my gold and I kind of parcel it out and kind of put it in like different pockets ever since Hepper Duke. Okay. Just Would you like to buy more pockets or pouches? Buy more pockets. I mean, unless you're walking around like Rob Liefeld character. I was just gonna say, is this a Liefeld coming? Well, it's just uh, that we live in a Liefeld universe where it was as you're born, you just accumulate pockets yeah. slowly. Yeah, and you just you grow more and more All teeth. the way down the ankle, yeah. Uh, sure. And your feet just vanish. Um, I will <laughs> Liefeld float <laughs> to the nearest <laughs> general store it's easy and enough. pick up a few extra pockets. Yes. Wow. Hi, I'm here to buy some pockets. <laughs> we did it. We I'm just... so sorry. I, I'm, I'm, I'm all out. I'm all there. there. We I just won some Dungeons and Dragons, guys. <laughs> we just won. Nice enough. You you head over to the the Felderwin General, helmed by uh, Dupont Briggsman, this like young dwarven salesman, uh, tan skin, light brown hair, a bit of a chin beard. Uh, says, Are you looking for the pockets? You said. Mm -hmm. Oh, what right. kind of pockets you got? I've got belt pouches, I've got um, um, money belts, if that's what you're looking for. Oh, yeah, that's good. Uh, Do I mean, you have one of those where it like goes around your neck but kind of tucks in on the inside of your shirt? Like the tourists? I've got yeah. something that might, you could probably affix to be similar, maybe? I'll get one of those and I'll get one of the money belts. Anybody else want a money belt? No. Stocking up on money belts. What? Money, be money belts? You brought us here for money belts. My husband is being kidnapped by Crick <laughs> terrorists. Honestly, I thought it was just going to be a little quick thing, and he was going to be like, for brevity's sake, like he does, sure. but he didn't. Nope. Um, this is a full yeah, scene. Beer. Beer. I just want pockets. So, so you just the two? Sure. Oh, so pretty. Yeah. Uh, say eight silver. Done. All right. There you go. Passes it over. 
So okay, yeah. let's go. Let's let's head to the uh, let's head to the tunnel, and if that, doesn't, so if that doesn't give, if that doesn't if that doesn't pan out, we'll uh, things on the shelves we'll just start heading that. north. <laughs> Make a sleight of hand check. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> Sixteen. Jesus. Arrested. He is happily picking out and handing over belt pouches as you completely disorganize his probably very carefully and intentionally placed uh, system. Well done. Thanks. And he packs in okay. the ankle Off strap section. Tunnels. 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 Sense tunnels. Sense tunnels. Sense of fate smile over your shoulder. <laughs> secret, uh, tunnel. secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. All right, making your way. Oh. Any guards around there? Oh yes. Uh, you see, each tunnel has somewhere in the neighborhood of five to six guards stationed to each. Um, some of them are just sitting down and kind of you could see bored with their posting. They've been told to, you know, keep watch, but not a whole lot's happening mm -hmm. until you guys approach. And you're heading towards the center tunnel, uh, which is the one that already has the, the fairly deep dig. And as you approach, the guards all kind of stand up. And, you know, some of them holding spears and kind of use them to get to their feet, and they look over in your direction. These are not the same guards you spoke to last night. Ford, Caduceus, any ideas on how to get our cart down into the tunnel? Wheel it. Our cart. But to get past the guards. We honestly just first have to even see if it's possible to get in there. And we'll be lucky if we can proceed. I don't think we can take the cart with the us. The width no. of the tunnel as it is, the cart's going to be a very tight fit, yeah. let alone getting two horses to pull it for you sure. underground. This is I have a funny there. feeling that this is less of a, we can walk all the way to Albuquerque as more as a, there possibly something down there, or they're still in there. And it's just a, a little bit yeah, of a. It's been weeks. They're not down weeks. there. They're probably pretty this close to falling. them. I don't think they've been moving the whole Let's, time. Though. It's it's worth just checking the box. Perhaps it connects to a, a larger cave system that they used. We don't know, but the cart cannot come. The easiest way to, to check paved. is for sorry, Jester, to go yeah. look. I'll go look. If we can get down there. Mm -hmm. Or. Hey, so we were here yesterday. They all kind of look at each other, and one of them who looks to probably have a little more authority, who has probably been assigned to be the head of the rest of the Crown's Guard, steps forward and goes, Yeah, what of it? Um. We're part of a research expedition. <clears throat> we, uh, we were here, and we were hoping we could toss you a little bit of coin and, uh, you know. Just check out this area here a bit. We ping something in the center cave, and we just needed to uh, reconvene before we came back to take a look at it. And uh, by whose guidance are you assigned to do this? Uh, Cobalt Soul, Beauregard, been taking notes. From Zadash. They've signed authority. Yeah, it's called this belt and these vestiges on my fucking body. Shit. You make a deception check, you make an intimidation check. <laughs> you just pointed to two orange pockets. <laughs> <laughs> Made in Veldoran. 24. 15. Ooh. You said intimidation, right? Yes. Yeah. The guy kind of looks at both of you and his like chest puffed kind of uh, moment of bravado begins to slowly deflate and goes, Right. Okay. Um, well, what, 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 what are you looking to do? You just inspecting? It's very boring, actually. Yeah, quite tedious. We use like little picks and little brushes, and we cover little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, but, like, I don't you know, really. You take a while, and then you like brush it and spit on it. You know. Did you want to join? No. It's really, it's really quite relaxing. Actually, my friend over here can attest to it. I, I actually, he'll keep talking like this if we don't get him to work. I don't know how to. Uh, how to really. Just do your thing. I'm on you. He steps enough. aside. The other guards are like, kind of, they're, they're, they're eyeing you close. They're all, they still have a job to do. They don't trust you implicitly, but at least they're <laughs> stepping out of your path to let you go about what business Thank you're you. intending to. So we can get down to the, uh, the barrier where it stops being clear. Uh, you can climb down because it yep. starts off pretty. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, where's the cart being left? Oh, or are you bringing it down with you? Oh, we're it's staying at the inn for the time being. Okay, yeah. so the cart has been set at the inn. Then, are you pre-purchasing board for it? 
Yes. <clears throat> sure. Yeah, I will cover the cost of that. Yeah, I mean, like, the, it can stay there as long as you're renting rooms there, but if you just want it to be kept there, it's a little bit cheaper, but you still have to pay in advance for how long you intend to leave it there for storage. We don't really know what this is going to look like yet. No. Two weeks. Three. Deal. 16 days. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Can, Excuse me, how much uh, would it cost to uh, house our car here <laughs> for a month? Right, so <laughs> going back and talking to Simone, yes, 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 Simone yes. Deepwell, it's like, <laughs> all right, so three weeks you're saying? Uh, a month. A, m- a month, a month, okay. Just, just the cart and the horse, right? <laughs> uh, all right, so we'll go ahead and talk to Babs about holding yes, the horse. Yes. We can go to store. Whatever it costs. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. Well, um, well, for for more than that, yep. that's going to run about three right. silver a, yep. a night. We'll see. Thirty. Sure. Let's just be. Uh, Done. There you go. We kill him. That's uh, nine ninety silver. So nine gold pieces for the month. Not a problem. Here you are. One. Two. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Take care of it. <laughs> Already ended it all. Oh, it's like being at the DMV. <laughs> mm. All right. All right. And so it's back the up point. to the point. Yeah. You guys make yourselves down into the tunnel. Uh, three guards do follow behind at a distance, just keeping an eye on what you're doing. Who's going in? We're all going in. We're all going in. No, but who's going past? Me. Are you going to be all right? Yeah. She's super strong. Sure, and I will stay super strong as I get down there and polymorph myself. Oh shit! What? Into like a mole, <laughs> <laughs> like a gopher, maybe like a gopher. What's big? Like a like a tiny gopher. I guess like you know what you know what burrows that's like bigger is a like a honey badger. Oh yeah, uh-huh. a honey badger. They burrow and they're stronger too. Okay, hold on here. Wait a minute. <laughs> Make people bigger uh, for a brief period of time. Yeah. Brief. Like, can you make a honey badger bigger? <laughs> yeah, for a, for a minute. So, it's the size of a dog. So, challenge rating of a beast of any challenge rating that is equal to or less than the target. So it can be a, ch- a CR seven or lower. I mean, I'm, Las Vegas I'm pretty sure a honey actually, badger. Actually, technically, day. technically, because. Uh, Oh, As wow. you guys rested Keep for the evening, hands. and you've completed your journey here, and you've begun this next venture, no. technically yeah. for the night, you guys would hit level eight. What? 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 Just as a heads up. Oh, jeez. Not yet. Oh, so geez. we'll, we'll deal with that monsters. shortly. Yeah. Oh, like we'll deal with that shortly. But for the time being, so a CR eight or smaller beast. Okay, 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 okay. Where would I find that on D&D Beyond? Creatures. Go to monsters, and you would choose beast. All the way to the right, creatures. And then, oh, wow. and then for the CR range, you would put uh, from, I'd say for, for safety, uh, like one to eight. Where are you? Where are you finding it? No, oh, you're right. There's not really anywhere to look. Wait, wait, wait. I don't see creatures. Creatures. It's over here. So actions. Blah 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 blah. Yeah. Oh, the right. Yeah. Tap it yep. and then search. Just so start it. typing in a name. Honey badger did not come up. Welcome to the world of the druid. Oh my God. Then use, then use uh, hmm. Google. I'm like, oh, white. This is too complicated. Oh, you got lost in the. I got lost in the. I got lost in the nervous. This won't be a problem when I'm the president. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> For a badger, a honey badger. You can't just, like a beast. I think if you go eight. to the top and search like Cat. CR8, Cat. look up yeah, level yeah, yeah. eight. Yeah. Look up from like levels one to eight. Elephant, what? Ape, giant constrictor snake, giant elk. But I need something that burrows. Be an elk. Don't be an elk. Be an elk and Four. kill all these fucking Talk soldiers. Elk. Constrictor snake shit. That's mm. So majestic. Neil and Panther, we shark. Out in the wild. So like proud. Any of these. Here, you know what? Laura, make an <laughs> intelligence so check. Oh, oh god. Yeah. Mm. Oh. You need to bring your yeah. What do you know? Highest your... challenge rating. Oh. Seven. Oh, I rolled pretty. I think I. So high. Uh, Hold on, I gotta get back to my character. Um, you rolled really well, though. I did. I rolled pretty good. Hit the view button. Yeah, there you go. 
Hit the view button, Laura. I get lost in here, so I feel it. Okay. Plus, so 16. I rolled well, but my intelligence is pretty lame. Okay. Uh, you've... There are beasts in the wild. There are wolves. There are cats. There are uh, bears. Um, you run across a number of these, of larger versions of these, more dangerous and ominous ones. Like when you were in the Savalier Wood briefly, you came across a few dire wolves. Ooh. Use your creative mind on... What other possible dire creatures might exist? Oh, well, like a dire badger? You can try it. <gasps> okay, I'm gonna be a dire honey badger. Whether or not one exists, the creative imagination oh my of God. Jester awesome. creates a polymorph form as you watch her body expand and extend into what looks to be a massive honey badger, maybe six feet from nose to tail tip. Um, with a series of bony protrusions uh, that kind of run down its back, like like two spines, uh, large teeth and claws that definitely arc and curve outward uh -huh. to about five six inches beyond the center Big of the paw, unretracted. Unretracted. <laughs> <laughs> He watches the guards kind of take a step back, like, uh. It's all normal down here, how are you? I turn back and I go. How <laughs> long does that last? That lasts for an hour? Yeah. All right. Can I talk as a, an polymorph? No. No, no you are, you are a beast. dire honey badger. Ah. Dig! I'm digging! Dig. That's what I'm doing! That's your thing! That's what all right, all right. I, I will say. <laughs> Let's go ahead and uh, go ahead and make an athletics check for me. Yeah. Adding adding what would be the honey badger strength, a dire honey badger. I'd say is a, I'll say plus three. So just roll roll d twenty add plus three. Oh, it was so oh, it was good so and that was a shit. Yeah, it did. Eight. <laughs> Eight. So it's gonna take you. Uh, it's good a good period of time here of you carving through and um, I'm taking gonna, a break. I'm gonna cast bless on the honey badger. Sure. Just to see if that will help. Okay. Um, All right. So I'm gonna bless the honey badger. What do I add plus a D4? I uh, would have had to cast it in advance, but I'll oh. but I'll, but, but I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll say in watch this time. Oh. Bless only lasts a minute, but yeah. for that time period, you get a little further in. We'll say you start you start getting more and more exhausted and more and more exhausted, and then you reach a certain point where the spell expires and your form reverts <laughs> to a very very sweaty, exhausted jester. <sighs> And you've carved quite a way. You've pushed probably an additional in the past hour. Oh man, another hundred or so feet into the tunnel. Cast it again. <coughs> I can't. It's a really high level. Oh. oh wait, do I get another level for it? Level eight? I don't know. I'm gonna go check right now for you. Oh my god. I'm. Uh... I'm going to start tapping on the walls of that tunnel. Well, no, that tunnel's really thin. We could. Uh, at level eight, really you get a second and fourth level slot. I have another fourth level spell, you guys. I could do it again. Do it again! <laughs> Back into your dire honey badger form. And bless. <laughs> Go ahead and make another on, athletics this. check. Add no. plus three, plus a d4. Do the green one. Get us to the do underdark, the Laura. One? Just do whatever. Take us to the underdark. Gil! Gil. Fucked me. Oh! <laughs> Add your plus four. Oh, you your D4. I mean, oh, okay, four. well, at least that's plus ten. Ten. Okay. He fucked me. He fucked me. <laughs> anyway. Oh, uh, <laughs> Gil! <laughs> All right. You push on for the next 40 or 50 or so minutes, getting in an additional 70, 80 feet. Jeez before eventually one of your paws oh. goes through. Oh. You carve through, and you reach the other side of this collapsed tunnel. And we all instantly die. Yeah, right? As the molten, lo no, I'm kidding. No. <laughs> no. Minecraft, Minecraft! <laughs> We've all made this mistake, yeah. Talison. No! Pick, pick, pick. Print it, print it! As soon as I like make a, like a, you know, a hole, I'll turn it back into myself. Okay. Repeat through. 
Make a perception check. Do I still have bless? No, they don't ask for that. Nope. Uh, 14. 14. As you look past, there's no light source in there, and the, and the hole is only large enough for you to kind of fit your torso through as you glance in. But in the distance, you can see. And what is the distance on your dark vision? 60 feet? Yes. <laughs> pretty sure it's 60 yes. feet. Yeah. I think it's pretty standard 60 yeah. feet yeah. For, for. Dark vision, 60 feet, yes. Gotcha. The tunnel widens, uh, and what looks to be drops off like a cliff. You hear a very, very faint sound. It sounds like running water. Is everybody with me? Uh huh. They're behind you, yeah. That, you guys, I think there's like a river down here. They didn't just burrow from Jorhas, they, they, they floated. Yeah, that's how they do it so quickly or whatever. I wonder where this underwater system goes. Yeah, they all float down here. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I, um, I don't want to run into that sea air creature. <laughs> it's like a stream. Oh, we're not there yet. You're not there. We haven't there. seen anything yet. Mm-mm. Okay, never mind. I mean, can you send some light down there? Wait. I'm not. I, I don't know where we are. Like, yeah. You what? guys are all back in the tunnel. Yeah. yeah. It's it's been dug through, and then all of a sudden, Jester creates a small hole and then plugs it with herself. You just see like the back of Jester, kind of you know halfway stuck, almost like Winnie the Pooh trying to exit the. Uh, You'd have to back out, flip around and come back, I suppose. Yeah, I pull my head back out and. Or you can go check it out by yourself and see what it is. I'm not. What am I? Who do you think I am? We don't send the cleric. Go up. Do not send the cleric into the, into no. the pit of the unknown. Uh oh, this new item. Um, the ball. Yeah. From it. You'll it break it. Away from You'll break it. Just send there. some dancing lights. Just send some dancing lights in there. I know. I just <laughs> was curious about my new. Okay. <laughs> Okay. No, 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 not the rooms, not the Did you guys take? By the way, to turn around, did you guys take the gray vial with you, or did you leave it behind? No, we took oh, it. I have, yeah, gotcha. and the trevor. Gotcha. Cool. Um, we have all the dumb shit. Before we, we moved have. on, just want to make sure. We didn't identify it, but did we? No. Um, so, as you, the globes appear and kind of, are you any other side of the chamber? He went in. So uh, you, did you go through like the hole? The hole that was dug by our honey badger. Correct. Yes. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So you step through, and boom, 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 the orbs appear and it illuminates the chamber. And it is a chamber. What you've stepped into appears to be a subterranean cavern. Um, About 30, 40 feet ahead of you, it drops off and looks about 10 feet, uh, a 10 foot drop before it hits another straightaway. And as it curves to the left, you can see, and you can already smell kind of the, the, the minerals and kind of hard water smell at the interior of this chamber. Um, you kind of glance over the side and let the orbs drift a little further, and you can see what looks to be a river. Uh, it's an underground river, and uh, it seems to have carved its way through this, this uh, lower portion of the chamber. Uh, it vanishes further below. Um, into At this point, can I tell if we're walking into any bullshit? Make a perception check. Yeah, okay. Uh, real bad. Uh, nine. Coast looks clear. Okay, good. Well, um, but you also notice uh, as the as the orbs move through, there are like almost crystal like uh, I want to say like quartz crystals that kind of jut from certain portions of the ceiling and where elements of you know, uh, various. Uh, I always screw myself on the stalactites. Yes. Mm. There we go. I, I, I taught myself that a million times since I was a kid, and I always like always transpose it. The last second, and I'm like, oh, I never write. Slactites that come down uh, quite a bit from what looks to be about a 15 foot high ceiling from where you're standing, that almost reach the floor where you are, but over this point where it hangs or where it ends and goes further below. Do um, you send the orbs out further? No, uh, I'm going to pull them back to me. And uh, lose three of them, and pull out that uh, rag that I carry around, and cover, so that it's even dimmer. And I, my transmutation stone is set so that I can see in uh, dim okay. light. Um, I'm going to be the last one. Who's the last one going through the through the tunnel before we head over? Are you going through? Yeah, going through. Yeah. Who wants yeah. to walk yeah. with me? As you're yes. doing this, the one guard who's. 
Oh, hey. Uh, so yeah, we're going to. We've just gotten access to to just a small pocket that we're just going to check out, make sure everything's safe and appropriate. Um, we'll have a full report once we finish taking a look inside, and we'll be delivering it. Uh, but in the meantime, let's just not cause any undue panic, and you know, we'll we'll let you know. We'll make some noise if anything dangerous is down there. It still could not be safe. You're welcome to come, but I'm not sure if uh, if it's going to be. I can't guarantee any safety beyond this point. Make a deception check. Oh boy. Is that deception? Uh, All yeah, right. It's riding a line. Uh, I'll allow persuasion. Okay, thank you. Only because you're being vague enough with it that you're writing the line. Uh, okay, that's uh, 20. <laughs> he goes, okay, uh, I guess just um, give us a hold on if, you, if something goes down. Thank you, sir. I, I, I appreciate everything that you do. And uh, well, give, give a loud holler. Um, things go real. We're going to. Probably scoot back. This is a bit creepy. If things go real r wrong, you you'll definitely hear us. Ah! <laughs> Sorry, I, I tripped. My fault. My fault. <laughs> it's him. I'll make sure that he's quiet because we don't mind losing him. <sighs> well, good luck. Um, we pre I appreciate that. Yeah. All right. Okay. Turns around. Other guards they start leaving. You hear this very faint kind of echoey voice go. You're fucking crazy. <laughs> Crazy like a badger. <laughs> All right. I'm into it. So you guys make your way through the tunnel and join Caleb. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As you all step into the interior, you can also uh, take in that that smell of long sealed underground water, mm -hmm. hearing the rushing of the of the small river. You can see where the path continues on, and with the dim glow and the dark vision, where it curves forward, you can see what looks to be the uh, the faint. Uh, natural arch that looks to be a continuation of the tunnel. Out of curiosity, those crystals feel utterly natural, right? This just feels like those those were not the, like everything. Make a nature check. All right. Do you have anything to float on? A boat uh, or anything? Seven. Seven? A boat? <laughs> well, I don't Probably. Know. <laughs> yeah. We love that. All right. You can run us. I have this boat dagger I, I throw in the water. <laughs> Thinking Terry about the tech by now. No, no. Uh, Fuck yes. Uh, just before we move on, is anyone bothered by these crystals? Is this yeah, do you a, are they creepy? hear anything? Do you do you see any kind I'm of? I'm a little out of my element, which is surprising traps? to say. Traps. By the, the, on the ceiling? The, sure, I'll look the on the ceiling for traps. The ground or anywhere. Make a perception check. Here. It's difficult because we don't really understand how that works. Investigation. This is perception because you're perception. you're looking 17. you're looking at things in the distance as opposed to carefully checking. Seventeen. All right, let's the floor. Seventeen. Uh, it does not appear to be trapped. All right. Looks okay. <laughs> We're just <laughs> let's all prepare to be a little confused by whatever we find. Okay. We're gonna be way out of our element. Dead so men tell no <laughs> tales. Should I um, <laughs> cast Passel to trace on us and stuff? No, there's nothing to hide from. Yeah, yeah there's nobody down here, but. You uh, need your spells for all the things. If we start to hear something. It feels well, like there's always things to hide from. Yeah, I don't know. Except now. <laughs> okay. I cast Passel to trace on us. Thank you. Those. Guys! Okay. <laughs> there's no one I would rather go rescue my husband with. <laughs> Did you all get a honeymoon? No, we never did. Poop On the way back, work. great road trip. You're right. With seven of your other it. best You're friends. Right. We never. We always talked about going to Taldore <laughs> 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 for a honeymoon. Yeah, yeah. Never Damn happened. Yeah. <laughs> we were saving. I heard White Stone's really nice. Especially trap. in the spring. Yeah. <laughs> Tourist trap. <laughs> well, from everything I read, Gordranus is mysterious and exotic, so let's press on. All right. Mm. I'm going to start walking forward. Let's go. All right. As you guys begin to step forward into the darkened subterranean shadows of this newly discovered tunnel system, yes. and wherever it will lead you eastward, we're going to go ahead and end ah. tonight's episode there. Ah. 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 
We are going to have to take a break of like a long rest because I want my fourth level spells back, you guys. What are you talking about? You just used two to be we're, a badger yeah, twice. We're, yeah. we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna <laughs> take a little rest. Of some, I mean, like, we're moving, but we're going to obviously. We're going to, to Jorhas to what? do shit, no, we're what? Looking, we're looking around the corner. Slow your roll. Oh, yeah. around the corner? It's a thousand miles away. <laughs> you don't know that. You don't know it. You're, we might find a portal down here. You yeah, don't know what's here. have a little mini base. What are we doing? A tiny subterranean boat we're filled with gummy tiny. bears. Ooh, should we roll for level eight? Yes, you should. Oh. oh. What do we do? How do we do this? It makes me nervous. Level up. When I'm president, they'll just level up for you. That's that's what I want out of my Dungeons and Dragons experience. How do you do this? Oh god! Let's go. It's over. No, no, no. I'm lost. I'm lost already. Well, no. It's a. It's a. You take a D8 dice. Seb, you played this game for. Damn it! Yeah, we're just trying to find it on the. Self-fulfilling prophecy. Where'd you roll? I roll a one. You roll. You re-roll oh, one. Huh? Three re-roll ones. Re- re-roll ones in Yeah, but I got my six. There you go. That's bad. Yeah. Right. Plus level two eight. levels. And then you go Woo. up to level Living eight. High on the hog four. now. Plus, plus your constitution. Eight. And then you go to manage six. HP. I know. Plus. Yeah. Okay. So okay. I have okay. Here we go. Yeah. Manage yeah. HP. What is it? A D8 plus anything? Six. Three. Plus. Six, six, six. Plus seven hit points. I am invincible. <laughs> seven! I roll a d8, apparently. Nice. Yeah. Six. Damn, six, six, six. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Hell, Satan! <laughs> Modifier? No, you put override. it in, you add. You it's add six, six to your roll. It's yeah. six plus your constitution modifier, but when you level up, it should add that automatically in yeah. D&D Beyond. Con- constitution modifier auto auto adds. Yeah. So you just Wait, add the number you else? rolled. Oh, yeah. Ooh, ability score improvement. Yeah, you guys get to choose to either add plus two to one of your or ability scores. Or a feat! Or plus no, one to two it. different scores, or choose a feat. Holy moly! Oh, shit! I've so got to look at this This shit. will give you a week to consider. You don't have to consider it right, right now. Oh, my god. I'm already going for it. What, what are you going for? I'm doubling the range of my spell casting. You can do that? Yep. Spell All spells? Yeah, spell sniper, man. Spell sniper. That's yep. pretty sick. Rogues, man. I Rogues want to be man. able to heal spell from a man. from a great distance. Uh, <laughs> he's healing. Ooh, I can infuse my weapons uh, with poison. Cleric. Yeah, your oh melee attacks do additional poison There's so damage. So much I can do. I There's I so do. much I can do. When you cast a spell that requires you to make an attack roll, the spell's range is doubled. Your ranged spell attacks ignore half cover and three quarter cover. You learn one cantrip that requires an attack roll. Choose the cantrip from the cleric or druid spell list. Your spellcasting ability from this cantrip is wisdom. It does not help your healing distance. Oh, really? It's oh, attack wow. spell. Oh, that spells may that change my my spells decision. Spells that then. have an attack roll, or that's 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 the key. So, like guiding right. bolt, you double your range, Wait. but it doesn't affect your healing. So, like or like bane or blast, it doesn't it doesn't help. Correct. Okay, oh, that changes things. By the way, we've all agreed. No one Thank this you. whole campaign is taking lucky, right? I know. I'm literally yet. taking it twice already. No, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna have to. Re- I'm gonna. Have, I had options, but I don't remember what they are off the top of my head. So, because no one gets luck. It's the, it's the worst fucking feat. But it's the it breaks best the game. It's, it's the worst. It's the feat no. of one shots. No one's doing lucky. I'm doesn't decreeing. It. Only if you're <laughs> the president. It doesn't. It doesn't. It take laws. It doesn't president. break the game. It's just slightly op. <laughs> You are not even the president elect yet. I need to yeah. see more speeches before I know where my vote's going. <laughs> well, we'll see who runs against me. Mm. I'm free vending machine in the lobby. Oh. Then I vote for are you. Are you running against him and you're gonna give that? Or the vending machine do is running no, against him? No, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. We'll I'm see, not we'll doing see what that. People I'm just saying, I'm in, nope. Anyway, you guys have a week to decide. Okay, okay. Uh, okay. Put some thought to it. And for the rest of us, uh, thank you for tuning in for this emotional roller coaster of a fucking episode. Um, we'll see you soon good. enough. Until then, have a wonderful week. We love you. And is it Thursday yet? Cheers. Good night, guys. Cheers. <laughs>